Ow! Hey, Rose, are you still there? Can you hear me? Hey, Cassandra. Girl, technical difficulties. Right about now, I really need um, Nappylicious to log on. My entire setup is janky, <laughs> as she would say. I am doing well. I am doing well. I'm trying to see who's on here, but I am struggling. Hey, Janice. Yes. So I had my laptop ready to roll, and then I don't know if we had a power outage or what the deal was, but the laptop actually... <laughs> Hello. Hello. There we go. That's a little better. I have my um I have my iPad sitting on top. There we go. That's much better actually. Hold on guys, just bear with me a second. I'm trying to uh Hey! Hi Don. Trying to get myself situated because uh I ran into some technical difficulties earlier. Not intending to, but that's what ended up happening. Okay. This is awesome. Now I'm kind of hot, so I'm going to take this jacket off. So this was my, uh, my costume today. Best wife of the galaxy. <laughs> Hold on one second the live but to go live you use your webcam so I was using the webcam on my laptop that's how I did the live I decided to try and use the stream and the stream wasn't working so I went back to the webcam and it was live and then it disappeared again so it's still literally circling talking about going live on my laptop and it's not so who do we have in the house I cannot see the let's see Comments, all comments visible. There we go. Now I can see the comments. Hey, awesome. Now I can see everyone. Hi, Divya. All right. All right. The party's about to get started. Guys, <laughs> so today what we're going to do, um, I have right next to me some holes that I did, uh, throughout the week and of course in the video I have this haul right here um, that I made at Neiman Marcus. Hi Allie. Hey Hooch the Pooch. Allie Hooch the Pooch. And I made some other hauls um, throughout and yes Dr. Rose thank you. I will be on at 7.30 but like for sure, for sure. But I'm trying literally to try and figure this out. It's not, it's not working on my laptop. Um, can you guys hear me though? If you, if you are, please let me know. Okay. <laughs> yes, Cassandra Janky. I just saw that note. Okay. So for those of you that were on last night, okay, I sound great. Okay, as long as you can you can hear me, let me pull this down just a little bit. I'm using my, I'm going to take my iPad and take it off of the, um, the keyboard that it's on and just literally use the iPad and stand it up like this. There we go. And then block it in the back. Y'all just don't know. I, Hey, we got to do what we got to do. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that picture. That's Christian back there, guys. This is where I keep like his urn and all this stuff here. 
he um the teen board that he did uh years ago the retreat that's where they went the very first uh retreat and that's him right there and they took a picture of him before he went on the thing that you slide you know like when you're in the mountains in mexico and stuff how you slide down so they took a picture and then they um the hospital created a book for him yep yes my t-shirt let me stand up look best wife of the galaxy <laughs> on instagram today i posted some um stuff with nathan and uh joseph because we i haven't put it together i'm putting a little uh like mini video together about we went shopping and they were in full mandalorian full mandalorian garb okay <laughs> thank you miss dragon thank you yes no dr rose i don't have a stream yard not yet. I tried. I tried logging onto Streamyard. Like I set up a, 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 an account, and it took me about two or three hours. And then I went to bed because I'm like, everyone says Streamyard is easy. So if it's easy, then why am I struggling? <laughs> oh yes, Miss Dragon Mandalorian. I think it started this week already, right? Honey, when did it start? He can't hear me in the office. So, guys, I am so stoked. I was hoping more people would pop up. Oh, yesterday. Yep, yeah, it started yesterday. They were a hoot. Joseph and Nathan were a hoot, right? Joseph had his, um, his sidearms. Nathan had um, his sword. He battled with a Viking inside the PX. Oh, yeah, I, I caught that on video, and I have to put it like a compilation together and put it up there. Hi, Allie. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, Nadia. Yes, I am so happy you guys joined me. You know, what is everybody wearing tonight? I was waiting on the wrong one. No, you were waiting on the right one. It wasn't working. I don't know what's going on. It's still circling. It is still circling. I don't know what's going on with it. But so I switched over to my iPad, which is what I'm using right now. So if I'm looking like I'm looking that way, that's because I'm looking that way. I got to practice to look in the camera this way. Okay. Yes. Yes. So I was on my laptop and then I had to switch to my iPad because the laptop is not, she don't want to cooperate tonight. Okay. So let's start with, you know, it's, I am excited. I wanted to dress up in sequins and all of that, but I don't have any. I told you my closet is cold. And then today we had power outage again, which blew something in my closet. So I can't see in there. <gasps> Benevolence. Ooh, oh my. <laughs> I'm not wearing that fanciness today. I am wearing, let's see, who else? What else you guys are wearing? Let's see. A Jador. Ooh. Yes, Janice. You're going to love benevolence. You are going to love benevolence. Let's see. Nishani Ani. You know, I missed out on that sale last week. I was like all over the place. Oud bouquet. Yes. Jador and Joy. I like that. I smell that, um, Cassandra, and I actually prefer that than the new one. Urban Decay Go Naked Roll On. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I haven't smelled that one, the Urban Decay, but I have smelled the, the J'adore Enjoy, and that one, I like it better than the new um, Dior that they just released. Alien or Sublime, yes. It's on Perfume 145. Ooh, okay. Max Aroma, oh, also the sale is still on Max Aroma, because Max Aroma currently has Tom Ford on sale, it's got three three big brands on sale because I was looking at it last night. I was going between buying perfume or buying makeup, and I decided um, I decided not not to. So what we're gonna do is we are going to start off. I am excited, you guys know I am overjoyed, I am truly blessed, and I am really thankful, like from the bottom of my heart, right? Because without you guys, this would truly not be possible at all. Ooh, YSL Black Opium. I have the Black Opium Intense. That's the only one that I've got. Um, you know, I, I, 
I know a lot of people say the same thing, but I truly thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for supporting me. Hi, Unique. <laughs> Hi. So let's go over what it is the winner because I've selected a winner and then yes. Oh, thank you, Nadia. There were two people that came very, very, very close. Okay. One of them is a content creator. I can't say who that is yet. <laughs> and the other, I don't think she's a con. She's not on here yet. But um, I was really happy. Uh, they came very, very close to each other. Um, the other one was much, much, much more detailed. So I think she went back and she looked at all my videos that I was talking about this stuff. So again, we'll go over what it is you guys are getting. This is the um, Gentleman's Collection. I'll start off with the samples. And I'm going to put some more samples in here because I have some other stuff. Uh, the Contemporary. Okay. And then also the Wonder Woman because I believe this is sold out now. You know, and... I don't think I sprayed this. As a matter of fact, I know I didn't spray it because it's still stuck in there. So the Wonder Woman sample. Okay. And then there is a MAC lipstick. And this one is in uh, Mullet Over. And that's not... I'm wearing Fenty right now on my lips. <laughs> Bougie fragrances must be delayed because I clicked on the thumbs up. Oh, okay. Yes. And here's that color. It's much better. You can see it better here today because I'm a lot closer to you. You know what I went to look for today, guys? I also went to look for um, like a background thingy. I forgot what they call it. Where you, everybody has that pretty shiny stuff in the back of them. I, I don't have that. So I went looking at the, the store today. And I found this lipstick. And uh, guys, look at this one. This is a mented lipstick, a chocolate brown mented lipstick today. And I decided to add that in to the giveaway. Thanks, Janice. And this is by Mented. This is a black owned business. It looks like it's um, back backside. Yeah, it's backside. I'm sorry. But it's by Mented Cosmetics. Okay. And the color is... Can't see the color. I can't see what the color is. I'm wearing my old glasses. Okay. But it's a brown, brown color. And yes, this one is an old Fenty lipstick that I'm wearing. And this right here, guys, I saw the full bottle on sale. Um, online, not this one, the, the Courage, but this one here, it smells divine. I love this fragrance, okay? And this this is a man's fragrance, but I wear it. And as you see, it's got the nice paisley cloth around it. Hi, Gabby, I see you. Yes, dark colors are always nice. So I'm trying to, there we go. And since we're doing it on my iPad and I'm not very good at this, this is my third live. And guys, here we go, Mongrelon Floral. Okay, yes, perfect for fall. And this fragrance actually is a fragrance you can wear all year long. So this is the Mongrelon Floral and this is the Eau de Parfum. There we go, you can see it now. Okay, and my dears, I just unwrapped the bubble wrap today. This is the Pat McGrath palette. And as you can see, let's bring it up to the camera a little bit. Right here, the little sticker is on it still. It is still sealed. Ooh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Yes, Gabby. All right, this is the Pat McGrath limited edition star wars palette yes so those are the those are the gifts for the giveaway 
And I decided that I would add in a um, sample of any of my House of Siage fragrances that you guys would like to the winner. They just got to ask me which one it is. Yes. And the winner is also good to get the sample or the discovery set of High Candle, the sample or the discovery set of the House of Siage Signature Series. Yes, that is what's going to be coming to the winner in addition to that, to all of the stuff there. <laughs> yes, CC. yes, yes. Yes, Kendall. It is awesome. I think it's an awesome, uh, yes, great gifts. Yes, I think so too. So, I'm waiting for a few more people to come in. Yes. Well, I, you know, it's funny because a lot of times when the House of CR sales go on, what I may find that is really comfort, comforting and lovely and to my nose, and I'm realizing that when we're talking about different uh, fragrances, it may not be for other people's noses, right? And so therefore, I would like them to sample all of them so that whenever the sales pop up or even if they want to just purchase, you know, right out, I wouldn't buy any of it unless it's on sale. And right now, you guys know all those um, discovery, not all of them, but all of the, uh, all of the, how do you say, the signature series, the special collection, all of those are currently, it looks like all of them or almost all of them are 50% off. I just like last night's live, I was talking about those and... I really don't think I am able to, um, you know, I, I just don't think I could spend $605 for a cap, right? In my opinion, for the cap, I think that, uh, <laughs> she says, if the winner isn't here, they'll get a great surprise when they come online. Yes. Now, the winner, if they don't contact me, Okay, in the next three days, I, you know, I will, I will, um, if they don't contact me in the next three days, you know, I'm going to move on to the next, right? Is three days a fair day? Three days is a fair time, I think, you know, um, so they'll have today, well, not today, tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, by Wednesday evening, I don't hear anything from the winner, then I'm going to come online and I'm going to announce the second place person, Okay. And that second place person will win it. And yes, three days is fair. Yes, off. And then the second place person will win that. And then what I'm going to give to the second place person will then move on to the third person. The third closest answer. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, off. So what does, I said off. You better stop. Okay. So what the second person is winning. Hi, Rose is back. Off. Oh. What the second person is going to get. Hi, Emily. Is also a bottle of Mongrelon Floral. Floral, floral, yep. So the second first person is also going to get a bottle of Mongrelon Floral. And instead of Pat McGrath, they will get my next favorite, next favorite. Hi, Pat. My next favorite. A brand new, they no longer make this. And in case you guys haven't noticed, I have to buy backup of backups, right? guys this is my aunt no auntie cheryl you didn't you didn't you didn't um you didn't follow the rules <laughs> look at this guys this is the francation palette i did a look with this online um a video earlier so this is what the second place person is going to win <laughs> yes so my aunt is my aunt, but she don't look like my auntie. 
She's in Trinidad right now. I am so glad you signed on, Auntie Cheryl. So let me open this up. I love this palette. Make sure. See, brand new. Okay. And it's a pretty neutral palette. Oops, almost got my nail in there. And it has like greens, that's purple. And this is like a grayish color right here. And whenever I travel, I tend to take this with me. Well, my own with me, okay? So I decided that somebody, even if they don't wear makeup, they can use it to give it to somebody to a gift. Because everybody know we like to re-gift, okay? So the Frankation palette and a bottle of Mongrelon Floral. This is one ounce. This is what the second place person is going to get yes and any of my house of siage fragrances that they would like to sample they just gotta hit me up and let me know and i will create a sample for them yeah that's fair right and i might even throw in if it's a lady and she likes lipstick I might throw a lipstick in there too. <laughs> yes. So, I am so excited. Yes, Dr. Rose. Yes, I think so too. Um, I am really excited because a lot of times when we're doing giveaways and stuff like that, I'm new to this, as you guys know. So, this is my first and I want to ensure that when I give you something, it's some how Kiki, when I give you something, it's something that you want or it's something that you can use and stuff like this. Divya say, why am I so generous? I don't know. Ask Auntie Cheryl. I just like to give. I think that whenever you give and you put that kind of energy out, that it comes back to you, you know? So that's kind of how my mother and my aunties and stuff like that, that's kind of how they are. They're very generous people. And so I kind of grew up like that. You know, you give to others without even thinking. And uh, my daughter is like that too. It's so weird, right? Because my daughter be thinking about other people. And I think I mentioned the other day, you know, she helps out other folks and stuff like that. So she gets really disappointed when she can't come back and um, when, it does, when it's not returned. And then she just stopped even thinking about those folks anymore, you know? Thank you. This is, uh, I bought this in my, it's my little Fer Ferrari uh, vest. So... Yes, absolutely, Gabby. Yes, yeah, so I like, um, and oh, let me show you all. For those of y'all that just come out, look at this is my, um, my best wife in the galaxy. And my husband, Joseph, and my son, Nathan, were Mandalorians. And my daughter is a sexy angel because she turned 18, so she thinks she all that. So she's making her costume still. Or she, she might be done. She's doing her own thing on... Um, TikTok or tickety talk or whatever they call that. Tickety talk. <laughs> yes, yes. So thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Divya. Yes. She used to dance and stuff like that. She told me that when she turned 18, and she blocked me, you know, she blocked me from Instagram. So I can't even see what she's doing over there, you know. But anyway, she said she blocked me because she blocked me because she didn't want me going on there making comments and stuff like that. But anyway, she um she made we went she she like she's good with her hands. So she likes to make her stuff. So she I just got angel wings and stuff and she's doing all the fancy glitter and all of that kind of stuff. She's doing that on her own. So, yes. Yes. She's pretty awesome. Oh my goodness. So guys, let's see. I do not see the winner in here yet. I don't see her. I'm scrolling. I see one of them. I don't see the second one. I don't see the second one. Well, I see, I don't see the first place. I see the second place person in here. Yep. <laughs> She is going to be surprised, you know, but you know, now that I think about it, you know, a lot of times people are, uh, so I'm not going to put her on blast. I'm hoping she gets on here soon. I 
I'm hoping she gets on here soon. So, so I'll go over what my answers were. So the first question, right? Uh, some of you, you had the answers right, but what you neglected to do was put enter me into the Pam Fam 1K subscriber giveaway. You forgot to do that. Some of you, you went boom right into it. And then some of you mixed up the answers because of my videos in the past, what you thought. So here are the answers. We've been going 25 minutes. Let's wait. Should we wait another five minutes to see if they pop out in here? <laughs> I tried to get all of them right. Yes, Miss Jack, you tried. <laughs> so, Auntie Cheryl, uh, when was it? Last week, I had a long live, and I talked about when y'all come up to um, when y'all come up to the states, how y'all um, how y'all come with very little clothes and always bring me a lot of food because I get my roti, my kurma, my, my um, my plum, my preserve, my preserved cherries, all of that stuff, you know. So. I'm always happy and full. And there is a friend of ours, Spicy, looks at her name. She's also from Trinidad, but she lives, um, her name is Nisha. She lives in Canada. And we were laughing about roti and platine and um, Pat, Pat, she's Jamaican. A lot of folks in here know about Trinidad, you know, island food, curry and goat and, oh Lord, my mouth watering now that I'm talking about all of this. Yes. We love to eat and we love to eat good. And the funny thing is, um, the other day I was talking to somebody in the in the in Target because they heard my accent and they mentioned dashing. You know, I haven't heard anybody since I've been up in the States over 30 years ask me about where they can get some dashing. <laughs> and yes, oxtail, yes. I have not heard them say. Nothing about that. Oh, yes, Emily. I'm girl. I love curry goat. Okay. I love me some curry goat. Curry goat and roti, curry chicken and roti. I like stuff that have a lot of masala in it. Yes. So it's just amazing to me when she said, Yeah, you know where I can get? Because I was in the the um the like the Target buy. That's why I buy my most of my food. And she said, You had some dashing today, and you said, Oh gosh, yes, dashing dumpling and in, in your chicken soup. You know, um, yes, pone, you know, I don't know if y'all know what pone is. It's a delicacy. It's actually a sweet, right? So I have to remind myself. Let me see if I could turn this camera this way. I'm sorry. Let's see if that helps. Nope, that did not help. I was trying to turn this on, make sure that I'm staring into the camera, but that did not work out so well. So we'll go back to square one. Yep. Okay. Yes, so it's been a while since I've had that. Oh, Divya, you got Divya. Dashing is um, it's like a vegetable that grows in the in the ground, and it's sort of bluish color. And we use it um to thicken soups and stuff like that. But it's delicious. It is delicious. Dashing and cassava is the two things that I grew up eating pretty much almost every Saturday. And saltfish, saltfish and baked. Shark and bake is okay, but I like saltfish better. Saltfish with tomatoes and stuff like that. Okay, so the rules are, number one, that you were supposed to say, enter me into the Pam Fam 1,000 subscriber or 1K subscriber giveaway, right? And then after you do that, well, first of all, you were supposed to subscribe to me, hit the notification bell on YouTube, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, Nadia, you're right. Hit the notification. You're supposed to be subscribed to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Then go over on Instagram and um, subscribe to me, or uh, you know, follow me on Instagram and let me know who you are. Thank you, Uncommon. I see you. So, Uncommon, I'm on my iPad because my laptop decided to not not cooperate. So that was the first thing. Yes, Divya Casava. So. Then the second thing you're supposed to do is put a number, any number from 1 to 1,000. You're supposed to put a number, any number from 1 to 1,000, okay? That you think that I was thinking of, right? And then you were supposed to answer five questions. Question number one was, why did I start YouTube? Why you thought I'd start YouTube? And I said it many, many times in my videos, okay? 
The second thing you had to do after you do that was what do I do for a living? And if you were very specific, you know, you got extra points for that, okay? The third thing you were supposed to say is, what is my favorite designer fragrance? Okay? Hey, Nika. Hi, Lenora. Thank you for joining. Right? So the four, uh, third thing is, let's go back over. First thing you were supposed to do, subscribe to me on YouTube and hit the notification bell. Second thing you're supposed to do is go to Instagram and follow me and let me know who you are if you're following me, okay? And then you're supposed to say, enter me into the 1,000 subscriber Pam Fam giveaway. When you finish doing that, you answer the questions. Number one was why I joined YouTube. The second one was what is my uh, profession, what I do. And if you could be specific, that would be great. Please, guys, hit the like button as well. I keep forgetting to uh, say that. Thank you very much. The fourth thing is uh, why I join YouTube, what I do for a living, what is my favorite. The next question was what's my favorite designer fragrance, right? Then the next one was what's my favorite designer fragrance, not designer, fragrance house, my favorite fragrance house, which was easy. Almost everybody got that right. Almost, almost. And the last question was, what's my favorite makeup brand? So the number is the last thing I'm going to say what the number is, okay? But the first thing, the first question, why I joined YouTube is because of, and that's why I'm sitting here too, okay? Because it's cold in my bedroom, which is where I normally film. But um, so... For those of you that had never seen the pictures or anything, this is my son, Christian. And um, this is why I joined YouTube, because he encouraged me to do it, okay? <laughs> this is good, like our exam. It's like your A-levels. You're getting your A-levels answer, okay? And he encouraged me to uh, join YouTube. The next question was what I do for a living. And the answer to that is that I am an officer in the army in the medical profession. I am an administrator. A patient administrator is what I'm currently doing right now. But if you looked at the um, questions about me video that Gabby, the fragrantician, had um, the one that I did because she tagged me in that one. I said that my, my actually, you know, I'm an HR professional, okay? I have two master's degree in human resources management and human resources development. And the reason I have the, both of those, <laughs> hi, Yvonne. Thanks, Divya. Thank you. Yes, he's such a sweetheart. The reason I have two degrees in human resources management and human resources development is that I can develop a plan and I can also manage that plan. So if they're looking for somebody to develop a plan, they could hire me. And if they're looking for somebody to manage a plan, there I am, right? And HR basically is an all-encompassing job. So I've worked in managed care. I've done um, deputy commander of administration job, which means I'm responsible for all the administrative, the building, the funding, all of that stuff. I did that for a few months. And my current position, I am the patient administrative, the chief of patient administration uh, division, which we deal with patient administration is patients' records, a registration of patients, movement of soldiers, Marines, whomever, movement from downrange back to the States and vice versa, movements within CONUS, which means within the United States. So I manage all of those. As a matter of fact, somebody should be coming in today. So that's kind of what I do. I supervise all the staff because I don't do all of that. My staff, my staff does that. Okay. Those folks, they are, they're freaking awesome. <laughs> they're awesome. <laughs> yeah, so they are awesome. You know, um, it's amazing. I call it the worker bees. People don't give worker bees the credit. So the pay scale, although I manage all of that, in my opinion, and this is just me talking, bosses should get paid because they have the education and they're, they're ultimately responsible for things. But the individuals that are putting in the work and the time and all of that stuff, those guys really should be, you know, they shouldn't be getting minimum wage or it's not minimum wage, but you understand what I mean. You know, I think that that we have our systems really are our, our, tra our train of thinking really backwards. 
really, really backwards. So you got folks like, let's just look a basic, right? So most of you know about nursing and stuff like that. Um, so when you come into, or post office even, you know, when you come into a, a clinic or a hospital, you are getting, you walk in there and you get checked in. And that's by an MSA, which is a medical support assistant, right? But the nurse, the LPN or the CN, CRNA or the RN, those are the guys that are really on the computer on Ulta or um, I don't know if civilian hospitals use Ulta, but Ulta or CHCS or whatever systems that they use plugging in that information and collecting and gathering statements for the information for the provider to see you. The provider sees you and then the nurse or whomever the assistant is, that person is now doing all the work to make sure your labs are done, to make sure your radiology consult is done, to make sure that your referral management is done, your referral outside, the right to first, refu right to first refusal, all of the management of your care, the nurse or the doctor's assistant does all of that. So to get little pay for that, and even if you think when somebody's in surgery, the person, the, the person that makes sure that all the tools that are there, that the correct tools that are there and stuff like that, they should be paid more. And I, I just, just kind of the mindset. But anywho, that's my little platform there. I'm always, I talk with my hands. I need to put my hands down. So guys, those are the five questions. So if you think you probably came close to it, you know, that would be uh, interesting. There's one person that's in here. Let's see. <laughs> so, yes, the person that the person that came in in first place that answered all the questions, all the questions. Oh, you're a disabled RN? Yes, yes, yes. Her name is Miss Leslie, and I don't see Leslie no way up in here. Leslie Brooke, she not here. Because I'm looking through the names. I was just scrolling. She is not in here. Her name is Leslie Brooke. And she, her answer was that my son inspired me. And that she joined so that I can get to the 500. Uh, when I was trying to get to 500. And the second question is what I did. And she said share positivity and joy. But... <laughs> Basically, I'm a, I'm a be, uh, she didn't say behavioral health. She said human resources queen with two degrees. <laughs> oh, gosh. And what my dream job was, was to be a buyer for Neiman Marcus, which is the truth. And what do I do? And so she talks a little bit about that, about how I trained to be a fitness competitor when I was younger and stuff like that. And I tried to be, you know, I, you know, this, that's my alternate ego. Congratulations. <laughs> Yes. So she answered those questions. And then my favorite designer fragrance is Mont She answered that correctly. Fragrance Fragrance House is the house of Siage. Um, and then uh, my favorite makeup brand is Pat McGrath. The second. So I did a tag video. Neo had tagged me. And yes, I answered all of those questions that about what's my favorites in that video. And I had all, like, I didn't have all the houses to see, I have now, but I had quite a bit of it already. So those are the answers to those questions. My favorite house is, my favorite designer house, guys, you know, you know, fragrance house is house of Siage. My favorite, very favorite designer fragrance is truly Mon Guerlain. I have tried other fragrances, but none of them, have come close to the way Mont Guerlain fragrance is a transportation for me. And Mont Guerlain transports me. I could be extremely depressed and I would feel uplifted. Now, it don't last very long. That's why I carry the bottle with me wherever I go. So, Leslie won that. Yes, Nadia, it is. It's very classy. So, the next person, I'm scrolling to find her name. Okay, so the reason why this person came in second place is that I could see why. And the number I was thinking about, it was indeed 222. Two, two. And it was because Chris's 22nd birthday was this year. And I just threw a two in there because I figured 22 was too easy. And I don't know how she guessed that number, but she guessed it. Okay, 
The second person to answer everything correctly, but the number, hold on, is Dawn, Bougie Fragrance. <laughs> yes, is Dawn still here? Because she might end up not, not, uh, Dawn still here? Bougie Fragrance, are you still here? Or did you pop in and pop out? <laughs> yes, Dawn, you are the second place winner. Yes. And the reason why is that she answered everything correct and did everything with one exception, the number. The number closest was... It wasn't closest to the 222, but I can see why Dawn selected the number she did, which was number 17, right? And um, I was like, oh, well, a lot of times people think, people forget Christian is 18 and stuff like that. But, you know, um, I said, with the number, we can just scrap the number, but everything else Dawn answered correctly. And that was, her answers was, you, your beautiful son told me that I should start Yes, he did a channel um, that I'm a major in the army. That is correct. Nobody else, uh, with the exception of Dawn, mentioned my rank. Um, possibly a physician assistant or healthcare administrator, which I am. Um, either way, I think you're a major. Thank you, Dawn. Mongrelan, House of Siage, and Pat McGrath. Hi, Nao. I was just going over the winners of the... Um, I was just going over the winners. So Dawn is in second place and the first place person is Leslie. Okay. <laughs> now there is a bonus winner. Yes. I'm trying to find her name. I'm sorry. Give me one second. I'm trying. I'm scrolling on the laptop now. Where is it? Some of you picked like Tiziana Terenzi for my favorite. And I was wondering why that was. And then I was like, oh, it's probably because I had um, Tiziana Terenzi uh, on there. On my, I have like one, two, three, four of them. So can't hug you. <laughs> Okay. CC, are you still here? CC, are you still here? So we dispersed with the number for the bonus winner. Yes, CC. Okay. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> yes. And CC um, got everything correct, except for the number, just like Dawn did. And she said that it was my son who encouraged me to join YouTube, which is very true, that I am a mem service member, I work for the United States Army in mental health. And that one was halfway there, but you were correct. Um, I did do mental health for 17 years. Uh, Mon Gorlan, House of Siage, and Pat McGrath. Yep. So... Some of you put Tiziana Terenze and Natasha Denona. Although I have a lot of those uh, individuals, I don't have, um, they're not Pat, Mc, uh, not Pat McGrath, but she's not, Natasha isn't my favorite. And the reason Natasha ain't my favorite, I mentioned this last night on my live, and I'm, you know, I hope, you know, she don't say, I ain't going to give her nothing because number one, she don't answer whenever I, um, Whenever I say something on Pat McGrath's um, Instagram, I, I know it's not Pat herself answering, but she answers or they answer or they say something back. Same thing with the House of Siage, right? With Natasha Denona, no matter how many times I post about Natasha Denona, 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 she doesn't respond. And I don't like that. I don't know if y'all remember in one of the videos I say, well, once people get big and all of that kind of stuff, how they, they, they keep forgetting their little people. 
you know, like me, right? So she don't respond and her colors aren't always conducive to every one. So Cece, what you are going to win, my dear? A bottle of Mongrelon. And I'm going to pop a lipstick, a brand new lipstick in there for you. And you can tell me which one of your, um, which one of the, uh, how do you say? Which one of the fragrances that I have in my collection, perhaps what, that you don't have or that you want to smell or whatever. And I'll make you a sample of that. Okay. I think Dawn, you got all of them, don't you? <laughs> Dawn, you have all of them? So those are the three. So if, if Leslie does not answer, the first place goes to Dawn. The second place goes to Cece. And then I'm going to have to search for a third place winner. So guys, just hit me up in the DM and let me know or on Instagram, message me on Instagram what your, um, what your information and stuff is and what fragrances. Cherry Garden, okay. Yes, Nadia, she has three days. Leslie has three days. And if Leslie doesn't respond in three days, if Wednesday I don't hear, by Wednesday I don't hear from her, then the, the prizes just move to the right, as we say in the military. Instead of moving to the left, we're moving to the right, right? So we'll move it to the right, and then I will select, and I will announce that on a live. I'll come out there and I'll um, post it that I have selected the third person for the um, gift, okay? Well, Ali, it's, I truly, when I say I truly, 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 I'm so grateful and thankful for the stuff that you guys, you know, y'all trusting me. When I say that, you guys trusting me to entertain you, I truly mean that. And this community is bomb.com, okay? The fragrance and beauty community is one of, you're so welcome, sweetheart. You're so welcome. The fragrance community and the makeup community, because we're a lover of both, is, and I've been on YouTube like as somebody that watches. I've been watching Neo for God, Neo. I've been watching Neo for a long time, Kelsey for a long time, um, Michelle Wong for a long time, Crystal from It's Crystal. Um, yes, this community, and, and, and let me tell you something. One of the things that I love is that these guys, if you need something, they will... You know, they don't go on there and say nasty things to you and stuff. Well, the beauty community, you know, they had all of that drama. And when folks are involved in that kind of drama, the only person I figure, um, I've seen Jackie Aina bring a lot of stuff to the forefront that people weren't talking about. And then last week, Kelsey Brianna, J um, what's his name? Brian, Brian, SB Nation. Last week, they were all on that platform talking about black beauty and the black beauty industry and stuff like that. You know, even in that industry, yes, even in that industry, in the fragrance community, it's also a struggle. So I used to, I still follow him, but Jeremy Fragrance, I, I, I watched him come up, right? And have all of these opportunities. And Tiffany Benson, well, I mean, Tiffany Benson is black, right? But Jeremy Fragrance, he's traveled all over because of this stuff. However... I mean, even though Big Beard has, I think that's his name. I don't know what his name is. Big Beard. That's all I know, right? I've seen his videos in and out, but whenever I'm looking for a fragrance, his videos aren't the one that's being pushed to the front for me to see or for me to click on. So before I met Nisha Spicy Looks and before I met um, Spicy Looks and the smaller YouTubers, before I met those guys, you know, I didn't even know how vast the fragrance community was. And the expansion, it's not like you guys are getting stuff for free. We're buying the stuff. You know what I mean? So we talked a little bit about sponsorship and how perhaps I am not the aesthetic. Right. Yes. Being pushed really hard by YouTube. Yes, that is true. But the perfume videos that are pushed by YouTube now aren't always the, um, the demographic that is paying for it you know um Sheracy Lewis has been at the forefront 
right now. You'll see Sheree's videos at the front sometimes when you click on something and whatnot. But I didn't know who Dr. Rose was until um, she did a live with, it wasn't Amina. It was Erin, was it Erin? She did a live with someone, right? And Dr. Rose, if you see her collection, okay, but she's not like just using samples. You get to see the bottles and all that stuff. So I saw Dr. Rose and she mentioned the Dior fragrance and the knowledge and stuff like that. So for me, hi, Nisha. So for me, this community has been nothing but loving, encompassing. It doesn't matter for the most part in the, this community. It's just been a lot of love and I appreciate it. So I want to give back. And so not everybody could just drop some money to buy particular fragrances. So yes. Yes, you talking about Sheree, Nadia? Yes, Dr. Rose Perfume Corner. Y'all need to go over there and then go over, when you're done with her, go over to, um, what's her name? Lulu. She's real spicy. <laughs> Lulu is something else. Go over to Lulu's channel. Go over to Uncommon Sense. And the S is S-E-N-T-Z. Uncommon Sense with a Z. Okay, his channel, he's very, he, you know, he's good. And then um, who else? I don't know if y'all familiar with um, Jennifer Latifa. Lulu is spelled L-U-U-L-U-U. -U -L -U -U. Yes. Dr. Rose had a live last night. And Dr. Rose is extremely generous, guys. Y'all think I'm generous. Shoo. Then there is also, um, yes, Lulu. That's how you, Lulu's name is spelled. Oh, thank you, Tammy. So, Dr. Rose, Lulu, um, and they know their stuff, man. Um, there is a guy, he's all muscle bound. I literally just found him last week, and he's tall, and he's got like ripped his muscles. It's like you could count the striations in his arm. And he was talking about Mancera and stuff like that. And you have all of these guys who are really good, you know. Thanks, Uncommon. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. So we announced in the winner, number one is Miss Leslie Brooks. <laughs> Neo, there is also fragrances that's not going to make you sneeze. So some of the things that I'm learning is that it's not always the fragrance. There's sometimes the component in the fragrance that creates that. So, um, or you might have an allergy to, let's say, a certain type of flower or a certain type, a certain element of it. Yes, bow tie fragrance guy. Yes, he's good too. There's Gabby, the, she's on here. Gabby, the fragrantician is on here. There is Chanel Tiffany. There is a vast amount of small YouTubers who have really great collection or connection and not taking away from everyone else. Yes, Tom Ford is good. It is good. But there's, there's better out there, you know, in my opinion. Speaking of, speaking of Amina Dico, it's experiencing fragrances with Amino. Amina her channel. Please check her out as well. So guys, y'all, I got some unboxing. Okay. I went and I, it's the haul. It's the haul. <laughs> it's the haul. You know, I got a haul. Hey, yeah. I don't know how to do all that mumbling rap stuff. So I can't understand half of what they're saying. So I can just go by the old songs. It's the haul. It's the haul. It's a haul, you know it is a haul. Hey! <laughs> yes, guys. Yes, yes, yes. So, I purchased, if you, today's the last day for uh, October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And thanks, Lenora. And I actually purchased some items and I'm waiting for one to come in the mail. So I purchased one from Tara, which is Lancome Edo. And I'm waiting for that. But the other item that I purchased is this. And this is Lolita Lempica. Le De Lolita Lempica. It's a limited edition and it's called O de Menuit, which is Midnight Fragrance. Look at that. Gorgeous, right? So I already opened up the box today and I sprayed it on my arm. Look at this bottle, y'all. Oh, Nisha, you missed it. So the giveaway, 
You gotta do the WAP style. <laughs> yeah, so Nisha, the winners are Leslie Brooks. The second place winner was Bougie Fragrance. That's Dawn. And the third winner was Cece. Okay? And what the first place winner won was samples of Wonder Woman and this right here, right? The Contemporary, okay? They also won a bottle of Mongrel on Floral. And they, whoopsie, and hold on, let me pull the comments back up. Yes. They also won this brand new Pat McGrath limited edition Star Wars collection palette. Yep, this is the first place winner. They also won a mented lipstick, which is right up your alley, spicy look, because you like brown. So this is the color right here. Okay, nice for fall. And they also won a MAC powder lipstick and this one is mullet over this is a nice neutral i used one of these in my video um the one when i wear the gray beret okay and day one this right here which is it's not courage it's a spicy smell mm. yep and this is um robert graham so this is a travel spray and I want to say it's like almost 10 milliliters in here. Whoopsie. And that's the winner now. And the winner also won a um, discovery kit from the House of Siage, the signature line. That's what the winner won. The second place person, which was Dawn, Bougie Fragrance, Dawn won a bottle of mongrel on right and a francation palette this is no longer available hi jay this is no longer available dawn won this palette it's a brand new palette i normally buy backups of stuff when i'm buying it that's okay honey okay See that? This is what Dawn won. Okay. Try not to mess it up because, you know, y'all know I'm clumsy. I'll be dropping stuff. And Dawn is also going to get, Dawn is also going to get um, a, uh, a sample of any fragrance in my uh, collection. And then the third place person was Cece. And Cece is going to win a Mongrelon. Right? Another one of these, right? And anything in my collection from the House of Siage, or anything she wants to smell, I'll, I'll let her smell it, but that's, most people want to smell something from uh, the House of Siage. And so that's what CC is going to win, okay? And I might throw in a lipstick for both of them. I have to look through my uh, collection to see what I think would go well. So this, look at that, guys, look at this bottle. Going back to this haul, it has the Lolita Lempica, um, I think it's like a, a tree or a cherry. Let's see if I can bring it up a little closer. I don't know if you can see it, but what it is, it's uh, like a tree branch on the top. And so in order for you to, uh, I have to keep tapping the comments. I'm sorry. So yeah, look at that. Okay, so, oh, also Nisha, also, if the first place winner, which is um, Leslie Brooke, if she doesn't contact me by Wednesday, then she moves out of the winner's role and then it goes to uh, Dawn becomes the first place winner and then Cece becomes the second place winner and then I will go back through the comments and select someone for the third place. Okay? I don't know if I'm going to pick up the House of Siage Disney fragrance yet. I'm waiting to find out what that fragrance is because to be honest with you, it looks like, um, it really looks like the, it looks like, um, not Old Bijou, 
not cherry garden, the other one. Hold on one second. I'm going to tell you what it looks like to me. Hold on. Okay, so to me, no, not Nouveau Moi. The, it looks like this. It has a black cap, but the bottom of the bottle looks like this. And this is uh, Shiva Dor. So that's why I'm a little skeptical. I'm waiting because I don't want to spend money on the same fragrance. You know what I'm saying? So, oh my gosh, this smells good. So this is Shiva Dor. You know, this is one of the first ones that I purchased. And this came in, actually, this came in a vault. Okay? Emerald Rain is great. I love all of them. I don't think there is any that I don't like. I, I might purchase the, the Noé Moi, Moi, which is the one that's for 50% off right now. I might purchase that only because that will mean that I have all 10. You're trying to find out the notes in what, uh, Dawn? Oh, Cassandra, you ordered Noé Moi or Chevador? House of Siage is great. You know, I put on, let me tell you what I did yesterday. When I went to work, I put on the House of Siage Emerald Rain on the sleeve of my uniform. I had my uniform on. I worked really late yesterday and I came home and it was still on my uniform. And it, I was getting this right here, the movements, right? I literally was doing this and I could smell it and I enjoyed it. I went to sleep. I woke up and it was still on my shirt because I had on my, it went through, I had my a long sleeve uh, undershirt on and I was tired and I went to sleep. I, I knocked myself out on the bed and stuff like that. When I woke up, I could still smell it. So let me catch up with the chat. Hold on one second. Yes. So Cassandra, which one did you order? I'm trying to figure out which one you order. Yeah. So last night, I mean, I, I'm not trying to be messy or nothing like that, but you know, I, I think I'm a strong advocate for the brand, but I said last night that perhaps I am not there. Um, I am not their aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? So I maybe not look a certain way or I don't speak a certain way or, you know, the, the way my channel operates, maybe they don't like that. I don't know, you know, um, but I'm me, right? But I tell you what, I think that I know a lot of people purchase House of Siash based off Sheree's references, but I also know that a lot of people purchase off of my references as well. So perhaps my channel is just too small for them to look at, you know, whatever. You know, I don't know. No, I purchased every single one of them. Every single one of them I have purchased. No. And then the other thing too, guys, is um, I watched um, a Behind the Beauty with um, Kelsey, Kinky Sweat, and um, oh God, and Chelsea. And one of the things that they had someone on there, she used to be a makeup artist and stuff like that. And she's like, don't get in their DMs, and you know, it's not good for it's not good business practices and stuff like that. But in today's world, in today's society, you have to reach out to the brands. You have to be aggressive and act. Not nasty, of course, right? But you have to act. Right, right. The, the brands only give the big channels. That's not necessarily so because um, there was one lady, and I'm not gonna say her name because I don't want it to be like negative or anything. <sighs> you said, "Wait a minute." You said, "Hold on, hold on." I miss, I miss that. Unique, you hold on. Unique said something. Brands don't. Who cares, Pam? Do you, you, you do you, and keep on going. I will. But I keep looking. Unique. I don't question the House of CR for and I love the three that I have, but I don't think she was honest about the first limited edition. I'm funny about people being gone. Ah. Oh. Thanks. Thanks, Rhonda. I see you. Our Harden, I see you. 
Yep, Jay, I do. I, I reach out and I'm reaching not just to the house of Siage. I reach out to um, like discounters and stuff like that. And I know it's not the size of the channel because I've seen smaller channels get stuff in the mail. So in my mindset, you know, again, it could be there might be something about me that's just not jiving with them or what they want their clients to buy. I don't know because y'all know. I don't know if y'all know. Y'all might be too young to know this, but I don't know if y'all know that um, Hermes, uh, Oprah Winfrey visited overseas and the Hermes store locked the door on her. Did y'all know that? And that's when Oprah was big, big. Okay. Thank you, Rhonda. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Allie. Thank you. I won't change anything. This is just me. This is just me. Yes, o Hermes and Louis Vuitton did Oprah really, really badly, okay? And um, she talked about it, but it took a while before she talked about it because when they do you like that, if that's the case, it literally, it, it hurts, you know, emotionally it hurts and it takes, it, it knocks you down for a little bit because they're like, you might be think you're big, but you ain't that big. Okay. Um, yep. Yes, Miss Dragon. I would recommend for the House of Siage, my first fragrance um, was this one, Chevador, which is this one here. And it's the, uh, it's a very good strawberry fragrance. It's got a good elements in it in terms of the spices and stuff and it blends and it, it's, it's all of their fragrances are blended well. Okay. I would say try the discovery kit first. When you try the Discover Kit, you determine which ones you want to go first, second, third, how, how you want to purchase it, right? And then don't buy it full price. Wait, 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 wait. House of CR said it's going to be a new scent. Yes, that's what they said. I'm waiting to see if it's going to be before I drop my coins on it because I bought the Wonder Woman scent and myself and others, we love the Wonder Woman scent, but we paid full price for it and a lot of folks wasn't feeling it to be quite honest with you, because it wasn't lasting. It smells good on them, but it wasn't lasting. Yeah. That's right, Nika. They should. Even if it's just, you know, and if you look at the dynamics, how much, check, how much have we bought? Okay. Check this out. How much have we bought? Go to the Instagram. Go to the Instagram and see if any of us are on it. <laughs> so. So that's why I said maybe it's not the aesthetic. You never know, you know, and, and that's okay too. Everything ain't for everybody and everybody ain't for everything. You know, I like it, you know, so I'll buy it, you know, so I'll buy it. I'll buy it on a discount and, you know, what would I recommend? I would recommend the, for the first one. I would I would recommend Ose Bijou or my favorite is Benevolence. Benevolence is a fragrance you could wear all year long. Yes. For you, um, Gabby, the House of Siage, you like, um, I know you like those dark, sweet fragrances. So I would also go with, um, I like Emerald Rain for you. I like, it's a little spicy. It has more of a, um, for me, it, it, it smells like a perfume. It smells rich, right? I don't like fragrances that I cannot smell after I put it on. Yeah, per house of Siaj, yes, Cassandra, you're right. That's what they said. It's going to be a new fragrance. So I'm still going to wait. You know, I'll wait and see what the first person who purchased. I, I might wait. I might not. If I could return it, if I don't like it, that would be, you know, but I think it's going to be like another $395 and, you know, Christmas right around the corner. But yeah, Gabby, um, I would say do the, do the, it's $50 for it. Mm. I think you might like this too because you like those um, Dior fragrances. So Chevador might be one you like too. Although some people call it, they say it went sour on their skin. But Emerald Rain, my favorite. Benevolence is my favorite. My favorite is Benevolence. Horse Bijou comes the second. Wonder Woman. So yeah. Benevolence is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes. Okay, so guys, check this out. Let's get back to the haul. This I got from Amina, from Experiencing Fragrances with Amina, um, from Dr. Rose's Breast Cancer. She had a breast cancer awareness. Her, um, Amina, M, uh, what's her name? Olfactophiles, which is Tara Scott. 
Yes. And Erin Sullivan. And they were auctioning off fragrances. And I was able to get my hands on this. It was actually my uh, first Lolita Lempica that I had. Um, I'd never smelled it before. So today, I, I sprayed it. I'm going to spray it on the box. It's spicy. It's, it's a limited edition one. But on the box, it smells different on my skin. I sprayed it on my hand and I went about. And I was like, kind of like sniffing, sniffing. It's not very strong on my body. I was in the, um, hey, oh, 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 one more thing, guys. If you haven't joined Dr. Rose's Perfume Corner on Facebook, please join that fragrance, uh, that, uh, fragrance group. It's awesome, okay? They, it's fun. It's fun. Just Ouch 1110 or Ouch 110. His group is funny too, but join the group, please. Anyways, I think I'm, what I'm going to do is try to take those groups and put them in the base of the fragrance group. I just joined these groups like about a week or two ago. So I will put them down in the link of um, my video when it decides it wants to upload. So this is a pretty bottle, guys. It's beautiful. And I think it'll look nice, right? So the, the flowers is dark. Let me look it up real quick. What the notes are for you. So I'm on my... Um, oh, guys. I got to show you all something I found last night. I don't know if it's the real deal. Yes, it's beautiful. Let me, let me show you. Nika, I see you. Look at this. Can you see it? $45.61. Montal. Montal at Walmart. <laughs> at Walmart. <laughs> last night's live. I found Montal Chocolate Greedy at Walmart for $45.61. <laughs> oh my God, I couldn't believe it. You have the intense cafe. I don't know, right? I'm like, Walmart has, because I, uh, I Googled Chocolate Greedy in the Google bar and it popped up. And I was like, Oh my God, they have bougie brands. I had no idea. I had no idea that, that Walmart carried this, Montel. And it was on the front page. You know, it wasn't like I clicked to the right or whatever. It was on the front page, okay? Yeah, Montel, I don't, I'm, I'm not getting it from Walmart. What I'm going to do is I'll buy it from uh, Fragrance Buy or Venba or um, uh, Max Aroma. So let me look up this real quick. Montal Intense Cafe. It didn't work for you? Oh. Intense Cafe is very... Uh, I don't have it, but it's supposed to be very, very sweet. Yeah, everybody is hurting right now, Jay. You know, to be honest with you, I'm thinking that all of these fragrance companies and stuff like that, they're trying to get their coins because look at how much sale. This is the first time House of Siage has been around for a while. House of Siage actually was on the house, um, the real house was of Beverly Hills. The uh, owner was on that uh, show, okay? I think she was a friend of Camille. But anyways, so this brand has been around for a long time, Okay. So the fact that they're having this many sales, you know, first, all they were doing is 20% 20, 20 off, 25% off. Yes, Deluxe is the bomb. Deluxe is the bomb. So they're trying to get their coins. They're trying, they recognize that folks aren't, folks aren't checking for them. You know, even the rich folks, you know, they ain't checking for them or whatever the case is. And we're not buying anything if it's not on sale. So you know, but talking about that, this haul is stupendous, okay? Y'all gonna like what I gotta show you. I got, wait a minute now. Oh, yeah, they're in there. They're in there. Hold on. I gotta pull up the notes for y'all real quick. Fragrantica. Tica.com. Oh, last night I had that daggone new um angel share in my bag on sephora and somebody snatched it from out under me i was so mad well i wasn't that mad but i was mad you know i was like you know when i did the live it was gone you know i was I, as soon as i came on the live i looked down and it was gone 
I really want to get that angel share. Dr. Rose is the one. She's convincing me. She and um, I forgot the other young lady that was on her live two nights ago. So this is Lolita Midnight Fragrance. Lolita Lempica. Lolita Lempica. Midnight Fragrance. Or the Minuit. So this is, yes. Amber vanilla, amber vanilla powdery, sweet violet balsamic, and I knew I smell anise. Anise, uh, soft, spicy, and fresh. It smells like sweet black pepper. That's what this one smells like to me. I, you know, of course, they're not going to say black pepper in a fragrance, right? <laughs> Jay, Jay, you shady. <laughs> Yes, yes. Where are my sunglasses at? I need to put some sunglasses on for that comment. Hold on. These are Chris's sunglasses. They're broken. Jay, this is for you. collecting this on Neiman's floor okay I'll be looking forward to <laughs> I'll be looking forward to your review <laughs> Jay said Jay said they were collecting this on it's true it's true I don't know how to highlight so this midnight fragrance the bottle that I'm looking at right now on the internet is different from this bottle. So this model might be a limited edition bottle. Or the Minuit. Yep. This is 2.7 ounce. Yeah, the bottle's different. Anyways, I bought this from Amina. So let's move on. So the next fragrance, the other bottle that I bought was um, Idol, but it, it hasn't come yet. Tara from Olfactor Files, I bought it from her. <laughs> oh gosh and i got this from tj maxx y'all know that's my favorite store okay it, i don't know when y'all go to tj maxx tell them it's called pj maxx because I, I'm, I'm in there almost every day and this is lolita lempica sweet guys this is such a beautiful cherry fragrance me too i would walk past them i only see them one time and i walked past them i wasn't gonna buy them and then, I don't know what happened. I, I just fell down that rabbit mm -hmm. hole. TK Maxx in the UK, yes. And this bottle, look at the bottle. I really love the design, right? So it looks like a sweet cherry that you bit into all over the place. You know, initially I thought it was an apple, right? Yes. This, I, I these are my only Loli Tillampicas. This fragrance does not smell like a dried cherry, it doesn't smell like a wet cherry. When I put this on the other day, I wore it to go to work. What it smelled like to me was um, those marchipan. I think that's how you pronounce that. Marcipan, marchipan. These two. Mmm. Yes. I don't have wild. Dr. Rose, I don't have wild cherry yet. I, I, I might purchase it, but I don't have it yet. I got to build up my Mancera collection. Oh, gosh. This smells so good. It doesn't smell sticky. It doesn't smell synthetic. It does not smell bad at all. I was completely shocked because I sprayed it on my hand when I was in the store in TJ Maxx. I sprayed it on my hand and then I was like, mm, I don't know. It's sweet. You know, like the name. I walked out the store. I drove out to the highway and I made a U-turn, called the store and said, hey, can you please, that, that perfume I just smelled, it's Miss Pam. That they, know me by, they know me by my name at TJ Maxx. I said, it's Miss Pam. I just left the store. Can you put that fragrance I just smelled? Can you put it to the side for me, please? Yes. Oh, yes. Just Jane. Hi, Fifi. Hi, Fifi. Yes, child. I paid $39.99 for sweet. Yes. Mongrelon is lovely. Mongrelon floral is lovely. I love Mongrelon. I love it, Miss Dragon. I, I really adore it. 
This fragrance, you can get it maybe about three or four dollars less on um, Fragrance Net, on um, I think it was on Fragrance Buy, and I think on Max Aroma may have had it already. Those are the only three online retailers that I look at, but I have only purchased from Max Aroma. Yes. So this one you'll probably find at TJ Maxx. Also, guys, please don't sleep on TJMaxx.com. Okay, they had bond number nine, the one that everybody was paying all that money for. Yes. Oh, yep. TJ Maxx. Go on TJMaxx.com. I think it's TJX.com. And you will find, you will find, if you don't find this, you'll find some gems. I check this site every two or three days. <laughs> Gabby, you're something else. You're something else. TJ Maxx online, you will find some good fragrances, okay? I slept. It's um, it's something oh, what molecules for seventy dollars, and I left it there. I went. I said, oh, it'll be there tonight. Nobody really goes online or whatever. I came back and it was all gone. All the but they had about fifteen bond number nines on TJ Maxx about a month ago. About a month ago. A month ago. Hey, about a month ago. A month. Ago. <laughs> I love dancing. I'm not very good at it, but I love dancing. So this one. It's a beautiful cherry fragrance. If you're looking for a cherry fragrance to try, I would say try it. So let me pull it up real quick. Sweet by Loli. Now, again, you know what's funny is that when I look, uh, yes, yes, Hooch, yes, TK Maxx. So the bottle on, uh, the bottle on here doesn't look anything like this bottle, right? But when I scroll down, I see this bottle in people's collection with, without the little thingy on the top. So I don't know. Sometimes they change bottles and stuff. I don't know. But it smells good to me. It doesn't smell fake or anything like that. So that's the second item. The next item, where's Cassandra? Cassandra, please tell me you're still here because because of you, because of you and your video, which are unique bottles. Ooh, this is a, what, how many ounces? This is a 3.4 ounce. Dawn, this is a 3.4 ounce for 40 bucks. So, whenever I'm in the store, that's what I, bond number nine, they had it for set Fifi. Bond number nine, they had it for $79. Some were $79. Some of the, the big bottles were 109 or 103 on tjmax.com. Yeah, the big bottles. And the regular size bottles, 1.7, was between $60, $69, and $89, something like that. So, yes, here's another one. Y'all want to see this one? Y'all ready? Doggone it, my live chat keep dropping off. Okay, Cassandra. <laughs> oh, yes. I got this because of Cassandra. Cassandra did a video. Everybody else talked about this fragrance and they had their ideas and whatnot about this fragrance. But the one person that pushed me over the edge when she did her video about unique bottles was Cassandra Jones. And today when Joseph and I and Nathan went to the PX and we went, um, where did I get this? TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. <laughs> this is still in the store. Full price. Still in the store. Full price. Yep. Still in the store. Full price. Let me pull the bottle out. And it is the 3.4 ounce bottle. The lotion and the shower gel is the big ones. Hold on, I'll tell you. 150, so five ounces of lotion and five ounces of bath and shower gel. And then the fragrance is the 3.4 or 3.3 for 60 bucks. $60.
Y'all, look at this beautiful bottle. And this fragrance has a beautiful apple smell to it. It is a fragrance that I never anticipated that I was going to like because I've heard other people talk about it for like summer fragrances or whatever. But when I put it on last night, uh, 3.4. Yes, it is 100 milliliters. 100 milliliters. This alone is almost, if not over a hundred dollars. Okay. This is fresh. It's apple. I don't know if it has apple in it. Dylan Blue. Let's see. Versace Pour Femme Dylan Blue has the main accords. Fruity, floral, green. Yep. Rose. I sprayed this on last night and Nathan made me, Nathan made me, uh, yes, I love the Versace logo. Look at that, guys, on the cover. So let me give you all a straight story. I tell y'all, my life has been interesting because I have, um, I have like literally missed death. And I say that those situations happen by the grace of God. So I have been lucky and everything. And Nathan loved it. Yes, he loved it. Yes, Nadia, he loves it. I sprayed it on him and he loved it. And he had me spray it on both hands. And so he can go to sleep with it. And he kept talking about it last night. So he loved the Dylan Blue. I was surprised. But this fragrance right here, when Versace got killed, I had just come back from Korea. I was assigned in Korea for a year and I came back from Korea. And he got killed on South Beach. Like the day that I got back from Korea, it was the sec. The I got back from Korea and I was supposed to go down to the beach because I hadn't. I was, you know, I was in in, in Korea, so I, was, I went. My mom lives in Miami. My family lives in Miami. So where Versace's house and all that stuff was when we first came up to the states, we lived right down there, like literally right down there. So it was like crazy. And then after I commissioned in two thousand and nine, when I came back from Iraq, right. We were getting ready to ramp up to do another movement in 2010 back to Iraq, my unit. And I had a doctor's appointment. I managed to finagle a doctor's appointment, okay? My girlfriend is a medic and I was a platoon leader. So um, at that time I was working as the SPO. So the SPO, it's called SPO Med, which means support operations, medical officer. So you're basically doing all the tactical stuff to make sure that they have medical supplies and all that good stuff, right? So that was my job. And um, I was supposed to go up there to arrange for the soldiers to get shots and stuff before the platform to move out. And I squeezed a doctor's appointment in so I wouldn't be on the hit list because when you don't, you know, when, you, when you're not medically ready, you get on a hit list. And so she squeezed me into an appointment. And when the shooting happened at Fort Hood, uh, at the station, I was supposed to be over there with my soldiers. Ain't that something? But God, okay? But God, yeah. So I say that me, I am blessed and highly favored. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back to perfume. Yes, guys, look at this. Gorgeous. Cassandra, gorgeous, right? So I picked this up and it's got apple. Let's see here. Black currant, Granny Smith apple, clover, forget me not flowers. That's weird. I've never seen that. Yes, it's a beautiful bottle. Shisolia, don't know what that is. Eglantine, Patalia. I'm going to do a full review on this, guys. I really am because I am shocked. I, I'm happy I picked it up for the price that I picked it up. And maybe they made a mistake. Maybe they made a mistake. You know, I was like, yeah. She's like, you want to put that on hold, Miss Pam? I said, oh, no. That's coming home with me. I got paid. <laughs> it's the first of the month. <laughs> It's the first of the month for y'all who military or former military. Y'all know how we do the first and the 15th. Okay, don't mess with my first and the 15th. <laughs> you can say what you want about me. You can call me all kind of names. You mess with my first and the 15th, we gonna fight. Okay? So the next one, bam. I was not interested in Marc Jacob Daisy fragrances, but... 
I picked up another sweet. I'm going on a sweet kick lately. So this is not a full. This one is 50 milliliters. Yep, 50 milliliters. And this is what it looks like. So you've got, this is what I've been liking about Marc Jacobs um, lately. In fact, a lot of the fragrance uh, groups are doing that. Here and here. That's right, Jay. Don't mess with my money. I don't play with it. I got perfumes to buy. Don't mess with my money. I got perfumes to buy, okay? Yes. So this one, it does smell very sweet when I sprayed it. I sprayed it in the store. And these guys here, they're really sweet at my store. They're really nice. They'll open it up. They'll spray it for me and stuff like that. The Ross, mm -mm, the Ross, they mean. They won't touch it. And you see that? Right? And this one, I paid $40, $49. Hi, JC. I see you. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. A nice Halloween day today. So that's the, the cover. And then the bottle has the Daisy imprint right here. I'm doing fine, JC. Hubby um, and the baby and the kids and stuff, we went um, just gallivanting around the town today for... Um, there we go. Pressed it down. Happy Halloween to you, too. So this smells very sweet and I love the bottle. And then of course it comes with the little travel spray. And I think if you look at, I, I recommend you guys always check your TJ Maxx, your, um, today I found, I left it there. I found another bottle of Flora, Bota Flora Botanica at Ross today for $19.99, but the line was too long and I didn't feel like dealing with that. So I left it there. Plus I just, I just gifted it to somebody else because I wasn't feeling it. Yep. So yeah, so that, I love this. This is nice and it is sweet. It is a nice, sweet. it smells sweet, sweeter than the other. Um, I didn't realize the daisy line was so, like they had, ooh, this smells good. Mm, I smell it in the store, but it just reminded me of, wow. So I'll be doing a review, a detailed review of this. The daisy, uh, Oops, let me get it back in there. I'm going to be doing a detailed review of this, which is Daisy Love, oh so sweet. Okay, so we're getting to the good stuff. Y'all still with me? I hope y'all still with me. That smells really good. It has a little bit of musk for it. Yes, thank you. Whoopsie. So, we're almost there, guys. We are almost there. Flora Botanica, okay, so Flora Botanica smells extremely green, like, um, like wet flowers, like you pull the flowers out of the ground. Let me fix this. I just messed it up a little bit. Okay. Flora Botanica smells like wet, wet, wet flowers. Um, like if you went, if you, you go out to your garden, that's what it smells like on my skin. So it didn't really invoke any type of happiness for me it didn't evoke anything other than meh right and the reason i purchased it is because everyone from sheree lewis everybody hyped this fragrance up and i i think there are too much other fragrances out there um for you know yes it does yes hooch it does i didn't, I didn't want to say that <laughs> it smells like weed it does. It does. Like wet flowers, but it does have that underlying of it. So I didn't want to sp spray that on me to go to work. And then somebody said, Major Jordan, you, you, you need to come and let's do a, 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 a urinalysis on you. <laughs> it doesn't have a strong, like, um, smoking. It doesn't have a, like, you know, when you smoke weed, when people smoke weed, I've never done it, but when people smoke weed and stuff like that and it sticks on their skin or in their pores or in their clothes and stuff like that, you can smell it when they walk past you. You don't smell it like that. Okay. But you do get an element of the plant itself when they're growing it. Yes, you do smell that in my opinion, but it's not very heavy. It's not very prominent. To me, it smells like green flowers and that the cannabis, it kind of is, it's interwoven into it. Okay. So the next thing I purchased, hold on. I got to get my, I got to get my computer to stand up, my laptop to stand up properly. So I'm putting perfumes. 
behind it. There we go. Uh -oh, that ain't working. Give me a second. Let me put this. I need to make sure that this stands up properly because I don't want it to fall. When I tell y'all, I remember, uh, what's her name? Um, Nappylicious said, y'all, my janky setup and stuff. Like I started laughing today because when I went, when my computer wouldn't work, I'm like, okay, now today I'm going to be janky. Okay, so I'll just sit backwards. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Make sure Chris is in the frame. Uh-oh. Honey, I'm sorry. Here we go. Okay. All right, so Dr. Rose is here still, and... Wet flowers and blunts. <laughs> you know who... Um, so I sent my bottle that I had to, um, to Erica... Because she wants, I think she either wants it to smell it or she likes it. And I would prefer it be with somebody that likes it, you know. So it doesn't make no sense collecting dust in my, my collection. Because a lot of things I have, I was like, oh, well, I just want to have it for the bottle. Or, oh, I just want to have it to have a complete collection. But if you're not wearing it, you're wasting money. And if somebody else likes it, you give it to them. So that being said, done. Y'all see what y'all think this is? What y'all think this is? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't see any guesses. <laughs> yes, Nadia. Which man, Sarah? <laughs> Which one? Wild fruits. Okay, let me see. Let me get some guesses coming in here. Which one? Keep on, keep it coming. Nina, Nina, you are right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Dun, dun, dun. I purchased this on a rush. I took back our roses and chocolate. And I got this. <laughs> yes. Yes, Nadia, it is. But I don't like snakes. <laughs> I don't like snakes. I can't stand snakes. So I try to not look at the bottle in that aspect. Okay. So, but when you move it, you see? It does look like it, okay? So a lot of folks hype this up, okay? Including the lady at um, Perfume Palace. The young lady was there. Yes, the bottle is everything, isn't it? Right? It's gorgeous. It has amber fluid on the inside. But this is how I use it. This is how I use it. I literally open it up and I pull it out. <laughs> I do like this. And I spray <laughs> Because I don't like snakes. <laughs> I don't. But it smells fresh. It's sweet. It can be a signature scent. And it can be it can be a scent for every day. Because I wore it three days this week. By itself. And then I tried to blend it with something else. But it didn't work. Yes. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. But it's still... A snake. Oh, y'all, y'all about to get a treat. Y'all about to get a treat. Yes, I love the juice, Nadia. I do. I love the juice. It smells, oh my gosh. It's it's not even herby. It just smells, it smells bougie, like Nathan would say. It smells bougie. So let me see. Let me pull up the um the notes for it real quick. Dr. Rose talked about this last night. We were talking about um, this fragrance. Nathan's in another room being quiet. Mm-hmm. Yep. So this has jasmine, orange blossom, patchouli, and all of that you can smell. But it's also pretty musky. What is funny is that I was talking on... Um... Yes, it, it is unique. It is unique. It is unique. Okay, I talked about this. To a couple of people when we were talking. Yes. Actually, yes, Nina. I agree. <laughs> Jay. 
Jay said he put him his pocket on back. Look, I got my, I have a limited edition Gucci. I might pull that out. You know what? I need to do a bag collection because I have some limited edition pieces that I, I would love to, to show. But it does look like crocodile skin more than snake. But I'll tell you what, when it moves like this, like that, it does look like the snake to me. So I had it in the bag because what do you do? If you ever watch like Indian channels and stuff, I grew up watching TV, um, like Indian stuff. And, 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 you know, when you catch a snake, you put it in a bag, right? Um, they would use the little thing and they put it in a bag. So that's why I like to say, oh yeah, you would, you guys would like to see a bag collection. Mmm. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. Somebody need to remind me because y'all know I forget. Okay. The Mark Jacobs, Miss Dragon. So after the Mark Jacobs, we pulled out this right here. Mancera White pa Wild Python. And Jay made a comment about it would look good with his Python uh, bag. Yes, please remind me about, about that. And I will definitely, definitely, you know, put my bags together. And I just got a new camera. I just got the M50. I think Cassandra has that. I just got the M50. I just got to figure out how to use it. And then today when we went to the PX, I actually saw a doggone, the other Canon that I was looking at. So I might buy that too. I don't know yet. So, oh my gosh, this smells good. You can smell the jasmine, the orange blossom, and the patchouli, the vanilla in this. You can smell it too. On my skin, it is not as long-lasting and projecting as everyone else has discovered and talked about it. And that's unfortunate because when I was in the store, I just sprayed it on a card. And the people in the store, because I rushed in and rushed out. And um, yeah. Come on, baby. So, hold on. You got to come over here. Go around this way, please. Spray on my clothes. Oh, that's a great idea. I don't have anything on this. Let me spray it on this. I sprayed it on my uniform yesterday, but it didn't, the starch. So, guys. Say hi, honey. <laughs> you should stand up and do a a, 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 a turn around so they can see your whole outfit. You know what? Go by the door. Guys, hold on. I'm going to take y'all by the door so he can see, uh, so y'all can see his outfit. Hold on. And I'm going to turn the camera around. Put the light on, honey. Turn around. <laughs> oh, bye. Bye, Don. Nope, it's not a stormtrooper. He is. That's a Mandalorian. Yeah. So the show started uh, back up last night. And um, Nathan was also a Mandalorian. Yes. Very much so. He, the, the costume is extremely unique. Even the, um, the, the head cover before you put on the, um, the helmet. He has that as well. Okay. All right. Bye. <laughs> so... Yeah, guys, I will definitely put my bags together. I have um, limited edition pieces. Thanks, Nina. Yep. So a few, I got to find the pictures. So a couple years ago, um, Christian, that's Christian really loves, um, loved Halloween. My whole family, they like costumes and stuff. So Christian was Chewbacca. Joseph was Obi-Wan Kenobi. I was the Black Leia. Um, Nathan was... Um, Yoda, because he was a baby. So he looks like literally Yoda. Yep. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of... And then a couple years ago, um, Joseph and I went to the movies in full dress, in full regalia. 
And this year I didn't dress up or anything like that because the costume I was thinking of putting together and stuff like that, I just, I, I decided to put the money into a perfume. <laughs> okay, so this Mancera fragrance, I purchased it from the Perfume Palace. And um, it's very hard. It's sold out to a lot of places. And he gave me a good deal on it. So what I could do is I could reach out to him because I got it. I, I exchanged Mancera Rose and Chocolate, Roses and Chocolate for this. And this was more expensive, but you could find it other places, right, for under $100. That's what I really liked about um, that place. He was nice. He wasn't trying to steal my money or anything like that. So... Yep, we love Star Wars too. We really do. So that was Mancera. Again, this one has a lot of jazz. You know what? I sprayed it on my clothes. And I still, I could smell it, but not as strong as it projects on everyone else. And being that it might be hard to come by, I don't want to waste it up. Okay. So, I also received samples, and I'm going to do a video on those samples, but when I went into the store, I received, we're now, this is the bag we're on now, we're on the last, we're on the last run now, okay? So this, my dears, is the, um, Cece, I got you, this is the, oops, I'm pulling out the samples. I think y'all must have just seen that, right? The last, the last who raw. The sales associate, she was real nice. She was real nice, okay? Oh, 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 y'all see, I'm, I told y'all I'm tangential. I bounce around a little bit. So, yes, Neiman Marcus. Um, I went in there in Austin at the domain. I love Texas. I really do. I, I went to Texas for my AIT advanced as an enlisted member. I went to Texas for my training and I knew right then and there, that's probably where I wanted to end up. The cost of living, the fact that you could be anything, do anything. You could come across, you could come to Texas with no money in your pocket. If you have a skill and you put, you take a piece of paper and you just write in your phone number, I will cut your grass or whatever the case is. You put it on people's mailboxes. You could just create a landscaping company just like that. I know because a friend of mine did that. Yep. Texas, you can, it doesn't matter what you look like, okay? There is a gas station. When we take 195 going to Austin from Fort Hood, there is a gas station owner. He's an Indian guy. And he told me when they first came to the States that they had, wherever they were living, there was some sort of uh, war or something going on. And so they left and they came to the States, like the whole family, all like a lot. It's a big family. And I was just chatting with him and stuff like that. And he said that his cousin opened up like, um, would like cook, right? This is Indian food, right? So cook like dal puri, roti, um, like alu pie, those type of things and take to work and sell, right? And they collect the money up and stuff like that. And then they bought their very first, as luck would have it, they prayed about it. They bought their very first, very small, like a little old rinky dink gas station. And they themselves, they painted up. But I'm telling you, Texas, if you want to make something of yourself, you find Texas. Texas. Yes, they are. Girl. I'm talking right now, Mama Water. And Texas, you can do it. Texas is a good, you know, I mean, there is, yes, there's a lot of racism and stuff here. But in Texas, I'm not in Texas, I'm in Oklahoma. Okay. But I'm telling you. I have seen folks who had absolutely nothing, but they had a skill, whether it's sewing, makeup, or they could do it. They could, they could, they, you try. It's a place where you could try to do stuff. And the cost of living here, you could get a house you would pay. I brought my brothers up, up here. Um, they were visiting right before Christian passed away and they saw a $300,000 house in Texas. You're going to pay so couple, maybe about one or two million dollars for it in California. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Texas is the bomb.com. Okay. So I got samples of Amber. I think that's how you say it. Amber. This is Amber Eccentris. And this is, I want to say by Armani. Okay. All right, Gabby. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. So I got samples of that. And then I got samples of you know, I got a lot of samples. Armani Privé line. Yes. Texas is the bomb, you know. So I got samples of the Armani Privé line. 
And this stuff is so good. What was hurtful to me is, bye, Gabby. I'll talk to you soon. The lady, the young lady that was helping me, she's brand new. She's brand new. And when she put this sample in, and this was the one that I really wanted to smell, and it leaked all out. Yes, thank you, Cassandra. Yes, yes. And it leaked all out. And this was the, um, what is it called? Roja Dove. All of it leaked out. All of it leaked out. And this was the, the one that starts with E. Oh my God. It smells rich. Rich, rich. It smells like rich people. If rich people have a smell, that's what it smells like. So that one leaked all out of the bag. And of course, I'm not going to say nothing negative. She just started working there. But I also got um, the Scandal. I got a sample of that. So that one is good. And I also got a sample. I already talked about that. And I got a sample of this because everyone... Yes, Enigma. Yes. Ah, heck yeah. <laughs> yes. It leaked all out. Look. All of it out. Yep. So then I also got a sample of Creed. And this is the Aventus uh, for her. Yes, Miss Dragon. Rich people smell. Even the bottle. This leaked. Now, we got back Monday. Okay, Monday. And all the, the, all the fragrance came out. And eat. Okay. Out, out in, look at the packaging, though. Isn't this so bougie? You know, what a wonderful, yes. Janice, this smell, the Creed Adventist for her smells okay to me. It's not like my, ooh, whoops, whoops, whoops. And there went one. Hold on, guys. I had a major mishap. Hold on. When I say major, I mean, I'm going to put a few fall down. That is nuts. Nuts. So I got the Armani Privé line. Yes, it leaked out. Armani Privé line, I got some samples from that. And then I got the samples of the, um, the Roja Doves. And I really like that. Okay? Oh, my gosh. Yep. It has a slight burnt... Um, yes. When it's hot, it's probably good. But right now, it's not doing it for me. The, the um, Adventus for her. This smells almost like when you go to the beauty supply store. No, when you go to get your hair done and that like slight, uh, the, 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 the flat iron or something, but a perfumed version of it. That's what it reminds me of when I, when I, um, when I smelled the E, the Enigma and it's not synthetic or anything. It's just something that's out of the ordinary that you can't even put your finger on it, you know? So that being said, my next fragrance that I purchased was from this house. That's right, Nina, elegance in a bottle. All right, guys, I, I, I'm ready. Who can guess what this is? Yes, but which one? Yes, Jay, literally. Damn, Divya, you know your fragrances. Spicy, yes. Nope. Baccarat Rouge, 540, nope. Grand Soir. Grand Soir. So it was between this and, uh, yep, Divya, Grand Soir. Yes. You got it, girl. You got it. So it was between this and the, um, the, which one was it? Between this and the Amber Eccentris. And this one was a little less expensive. And I was like going back and forth. But you know why I got it? Because they did not have it in stock. The, um, the, um, the Armani fragrance. So I ended up getting this. I remember last night, Dr. Dr. Uh, Dr. Rose said that, 
you know, I think she's, is it she or Lulu? One of them said something about how this, you know, there are better, there are better uh, ambers out there. There are better ambers than this. I bought this because so many people was talking about it and it was 15% off at Neiman Marcus. Yeah, Neiman Marcus had 15% off and it actually had ended the day before and they still give me the discount. So I went ahead and I bought it. Plus, like I said, the lady that helped me out, the young lady that helped me out, I think she put her card in the, in the bag. At the domain, yep, she sure did. Her name is Caress. And she's an, I have a passion for people who, artists and stuff like artists. My oldest son is an artist. My daughter is artistic. I just have a passion for folks who who um who work with their hands and stuff like that, but nervous and stuff like that. And you know. So I was opening the plastic. So this is what I got. Grand Swap. So this is my very first Killian full bottle. Killian, Killian. See, I really wanted a doggone Killian fragrance that came out my basket at Sephora because Sephora I would have gotten my 20% off. So this is Grand Soir by Martine Francis Jean. Yes. Yes, Janice. Oh, you know who else have a sale, guys? Macy's have a sale, but Bloomingdale's has 10%. If you use Rakuten, I don't have a Rakuten link or anything like that, so you could probably use like, um, if, uh, like, I think Dr. Rose might have one. Um, maybe Sheree has one. Uh, maybe uh, Uncommon Sense have one where you could use their link pack from Bloomingdale's and Macy's and those. I don't know if Macy's is 10%, but that's how I shop when I shop online. I try to look first. Also, Max Aroma, guys, you can go get a um, cash back to Rakuten for Max Aroma. Max Aroma is on Rakuten or Ebates, okay? Just in case y'all didn't know. Yes. So this teeny bottle, because to me it's a teeny bottle, you know, but this fragrance, oh my goodness, it is boss. Hold on. I smell good. I smell expensive. <laughs> Ooh. Child. Yes. So right off the bat, I will tell you, I notice I say that a lot, right off the bat, I will tell you, it's deep, it's rich. Yes. It is not headache inducing because normally I will get a headache and stuff. And the bottle, yes, it's pretty. It's pretty. It has even the, the en engraving right here. Okay, so guys, now that we're talking about packaging of stuff, right? Yes. I'm going to smell like a boss. I ain't going to smell as bossy as you, Nisha, but I'm going to smell like a boss. <laughs> so, guys, I wanted, I wanted to uh, talk about, um, I was mentioning, like, support and stuff like that. So, I had purchased um, a bottle of fragrance from uh, Zach uh, Nin Nineveh, or Nineveh, and he is a black or, yeah, he's a black uh, perfumer, and he's very, very new. And I didn't have a pleasant experience initially with the packaging of his item. It, I was expecting something else. I purchased Notorietta. So he's coming out with a relaunch, right? And my conversation with him, I was pissed off, to be honest with you. I was really upset. But I had a conversation with him the next day. And you know, he's an artist. And artists tend to get in their feelings and stuff like that. I completely get all of that, okay? But I will say to y'all, if, if, if you don't mind, I would recommend that you try his new line that's coming out. His old line is great, but he's working on his packaging and he is a one man show. This guy's a one man show. He needs to work on his marketing and stuff. But again, he is an excellent, and I mean, he's extremely talented. That juice, as mad as I was when I sprayed that doggone Notorietta on my arm and on my neck, I, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. His fragrances are very, very good. He doesn't have a brought up Jeremy fragrance earlier, and I was talking about our fragrance community and stuff like that. Guys, we have to support our smaller business businesses or these guys coming on the up and up 
they don't have MFK dollars and MFK backing. I know a little bit about marketing and I know a lot of people here on YouTube, especially in our community, we have professionals with marketing and stuff like that. So I say all of that to say, if you feel that like you can help someone, give them ideas and stuff like that and not be too judgmental and stuff like that, because sometimes they'll take it that way. And I had to keep reminding him, hey, I'm not trying to come at you or talk about your brand or anything like that. Like, you know, I'm not trying to say this stuff is crap, right? But I'm telling you, you know, they're not going to get anywhere if we don't invest in them. Okay, we invest in Ferrari, we invest in Apple, we invest in all of these guys that already have the financial backing necessary to be where we expect or anticipate. The name of his brand is Maison de Darius. Le Parfums Maison de Darius. You could just go on. He's the Instagram. He's, everything is on Instagram. Maison de Darius. Yes. He's black owned. Uh, Chris Classic Soul Cafe is very good to purchase Savoir Fair store. Let me pull that up real quick. So I can keep it on my um, on my page. We really need, I think, um, because we spent a lot of money, savoirfair.com. Okay. Ooh. Sexy. I mean, I mean, he's cute. <laughs> Is that him? He's cute. He's got long hair. I like long hair. Mandatory shutdown. Oh, he's now on this limited. So again, on, on Maison de Darius, he doesn't have a staff or anything like that. It's just him. It's just him. Okay. So Soul Cafe and Bonor are amazing. I had this. Is this from Sabor Fairline? Okay. All right. Let me go get the bottle of Notorietta so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is his bottle right now. This is not what his bottle is going to look like when it comes out. But the fragrance in here, Amina Deco, I'm gonna take my watch off so I can spray my arm. Amina Deco did a, um, I think Mr. Cologne 76 also did a video talking about his fragrances and I did one as well. Let me see, look at that. That's just one little squirt. All his fragrances are 50% oil. And as much as it was teed off with the way it arrived, because there was some issues with the bottle and the, the, the condition of it, but this right here, even when I'm, you know, you're not supposed to rub perfume in, but I rub this in and the spice and stuff like that, it just comes out, it's beautiful. This got caramel, vanilla in it. Notorietta and Fiore are my two favorites. And he's not, I don't know, I don't think he's making these anymore. He has three new fragrances. So I'm just asking if you um, just order like a sample or something and, and smell his stuff. And, you know, just keep in mind that he's brand new. He does not have a huge, you know, staff or anything like that. And when you order, because I brought up the fact that it took so long for, my, for me to get my stuff. And actually when I ordered... When he gets orders, he literally hand makes those fragrances. And it's not just, you know, it's like really he hand makes the fragrances. So I've never, you know, it's not a factory. Uh, he's, he's not a factory. So again, all right, Ken. First and the 15th. Yes, yes, yes. I ain't playing, girl. First and the 15th. Yes, that's how we do it. So I'm definitely going to check out, let's see, Soul Cafe products. I don't 
see the prices on here, guys. Painting, pens, stationery, gifts, print. I must be on the wrong side. Savoir faire, spelled the S A V O I R F A I R E. I'm looking at the comments to see if I've got it correctly. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. S A V O I R F A I R E. Perf Soul Cafe. There we go. I just Googled it and just put the perfume in it. So I will be looking this up tonight. Ooh, that's a cute bottle. It's got a little crown on it. Am I in the right space? It's got a little crown on the bottle. Flash, very limited restock. Well, okay. All right, guys, DM me what you think I should get. I want to try what should be my very first uh, fragrance from this brand. Okay, all right, Miss Dragon. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> I'll let my husband know that you guys enjoyed his, uh, his outfit, his Halloween costume. Okay, yes. So it's got Soul Cafe and how much is it? It doesn't say the, oh, it's sold out. It's sold out. If you guys know who um, Leslie Brooks is, I'm going to send her a message. Um, but, you know, she got to hit me up in a DM to get her presents. Try all three in the cigar bottles. Savoir Fair. Oh, okay. Sold out. Sold out. Wow. Rolling Stones t-shirt. Hey, he got, um, what's the name? Charlemagne the God on his page. Advertising for him. I just saw the page. It has Charlemagne the God on here. I got to get my husband that, uh, that t-shirt. My black wife makes me smile. <laughs> <laughs> has a discovery set with three different fragrances that we're trying. Okay, Nina, I will try it. I will definitely try it. It's sold out. Yep, yep, yep. His discovery kits are sold out. Yeah, yeah. But check it out. Um, on the 23rd is when the, uh, he's a one-man show as well. Oh, wow. This is pretty awesome. Soul Cafe Eau de Parfum Cigar Clutch sold out. Oh my gosh. All his stuff is sold out, Jay. My goodness. Oh yeah, Cassandra. Texas is the bomb. You know, we're probably going to retire in Texas because I can't afford to live in Miami. Miami is, is very expensive and the way I want to live, if you come accustomed to living a certain way, you know what I'm saying? Where you're comfortable and stuff like that. But... Yeah, Texas, you can, you can, if you want to be something, you can, you can start your business here. There's a lot of businesses, homegrown businesses that start here, restaurants, all kinds of stuff. Not here, but in Texas. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Austin is lovely. Um, I would settle on the outskirts of Austin because Austin proper is expensive. So San Marcos is a good place. Back in the 90s, you could get land in San Marcos for absolutely nothing. Okay, thank you, Jay. I sure will. I sure will. But on the outskirts of Austin, um, like Round Rock area um, is nice. Um, you know, Florence is, is well, not for me because Florence a long time ago, they didn't have anybody that looked like me in Florence. New Braunfels is good. I got friends that live out there, San Antonio area. Um, so, I mean, in San Antonio, of course, because the Spurs is there, the cost of living in San Antonio is less expensive than the cost of living in Austin, but Austin has like the music festival and it's very hip and stuff like that there. But with the recent events, yes, the recent events that has happened in Austin, 
you know, with the political climate that's, you know, people are just coming out the woodworks feeling very comfortable showing their prejudice and racism and anger and hate. You know, so they're coming out of the woodworks, you know, and I like when they come out of the woodworks because then I can say, yeah, I see you. <laughs> but yeah, so San Marcos, I love San Marcos. I like the mall in San Marcos, but I prefer San Antonio. I like Austin and San Antonio. Those are my two favorite areas. I also like Aventura in Miami, but only I can't afford to live there. So I know that um, as my mother ages. Yeah. Oh, yes. Barbecue. You think Austin is the bomb of food. In San Antonio, you could go every single day to a different restaurant and you still will not have eaten the same thing twice in a 60-day or 90-day, probably a whole year. There's a lot of good restaurants in uh, San Antonio. Yep. Yes, yes. The, the real estate did go up already, especially since um, it became known that Matthew McConaughey lives there. Yep, the real estate went up, you know. And then also um, for that area, I would say Texas is great, but Houston is good too. And then when my daughter used to do gymnastics and we used to travel a lot to Houston and Dallas area and there are some nice smaller areas that were just up and coming, you know, the, the, but Colleen is also up and coming. Um, Colleen has expanded and grown crazy growth, right? But... I would like to live, um, I mean, I have a house there already, so I might just go back there and live there. But, you know, on the outskirts of Colleen, it's probably nice to, not Salado so much. I mean, Salado is nice, but I would prefer to move towards Round Rock area if I were to uh, expand or San Antonio. Yep. And Nika is, Nika, you're in Kansas. So I was in, uh, I was at Fort Leavenworth for almost five years, four and a half years. And I like that area as well because of the historical value to it. There's a lot of Buffalo soldiers. The homes were nice, very historic homes and stuff, but they were building out when I was leaving there in 2006. And I really enjoyed my time there. That's most of my really close friends um, from the military. Those are the ones that I uh, met when I worked at the prison there. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yep, so... I was talking about this bottle here. This is by Zach Ninwe. The juice in here, phenomenal. He is extremely talented. I am definitely going to be, um, I'll reach out to this gentleman and see if there's any way he, if he's a one-man shop, I can ask him when's the next time he's gonna be selling the Savoir Faire gentleman. I don't see where his name is. So I don't know his name, but I'll reach out to him on Instagram. And then I, um, I'm planning on doing a, yeah. So this bottle, right? I like this bottle. What I didn't like is the fact that it wasn't engraved, right? The name of the fragrance wasn't engraved on it. I think that would have taken this bottle up and down. She didn't really necessarily have to change the bottle, in my opinion. He could have kept this black bottle, right? And he could have done a sticker on it. But when you put a sticker and you put that much concentration of oil, it doesn't matter. Stickers and oil don't go together. Glue and oil don't go together. It would slide right off. So what would have been easier if he had the funds? Because I know he doesn't have the funds. Chris, thank you, Chris Classic. Let me put that on my notes. Hold on one second, guys. Let me get to my notes. And Because I will forget if I don't write it in there. Excuse me. Yep, that's the first time you. That's how I sneeze. <laughs> oh, that's the first time y'all heard my sneeze. Chris, classic. People be laughing at me at work because of that. Oh, so it's on Maison de Darius his site. So let me see if I can. Where is my, I'm going to, I'm going to attach my, um, hold on just one second, guys. I sound just like my girl. Um, this is a little janky. It's not as bougie as I would like it with all this expensive fragrance. And I still don't, don't know how to be bougie like that. I'm just not bougie. It is Maison de Darius. I was trying to type it in, but on the iPad, 
it will not allow me to do so. So it's Maison de Darius, M A I S O N D A R I O Darius, D A R I U S. And he is on Instagram. He is on Instagram. So you can reach out to him. Oh, it's down? What the? Hold on. I was just on there this morning. Let's see. Yep, it sure is. All right. Well, he's a, he was on Instagram this morning because uh, Mr. Cologne76 talked about, well, I saw the message this morning, was talking about his um, fragrance. So, like this week, this past week. But this one, he said to me, I talked to him either yesterday. He said he's no longer making these and he was offering a 30% off of the new fragrances that he has coming out of the samples or the fragrance if you want to over it. So he wasn't supposed to go live with those fragrances until the 23rd of, I want to say the 23rd of November. The thing, I found this IG, we'll follow him. Yes, please follow him and let him know that I sent you. Please let him know that I sent you. You know, I told him that I would do my best to, um, to promote his brand and stuff like that. So, you know, please let him know that I sent you. So, um, God, I love that fragrance. This is Notorietta. He said he's not going to make these anymore. And the other three that he's coming out with are supposed to be much better than these. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But again, if you guys know of any other independent, I guess they call them indie, right? That's what independent stands for. Fragrance houses. Makeup, I'm very iffy about using indie makeup only because the type of things that they put in makeup, I'm... I'm scared. I don't want to wake up in the morning and my eyes swell up and stuff like that, which has happened before. So, but fragrances, I'm a little more apt to try fragrances because it's mostly essential oils that people are blending their fragrances with. Um, yeah, I, I, I really do want to support them. I really do. They really need us to be lifting him, lifting them up. And again, you know, our purchases and stuff like that, they're not going to come out there and tell you, but our purchases is what they sometimes use to get their raw materials to create stuff. So when a return is done, it's not like you take something back to Ulta and it just goes in the trash. You know, Tom Ford and they, they just trash it. These guys, I'm learning a lot on the business side in terms of what it takes to do this stuff. And I think um, one of our peers, meaning a uh, YouTuber, Instagrammer, she also does oils. I don't know if I should say anything. Jay, you know who I'm talking about, right? She does oils and she really, you know, she's got a good nose. So, mm, yes, Cassandra, I like to feel expensive. I love smelling expensive. Ovation for Men is an indie black brand. Ovation, let me pull him up. Ovation for men by Sean Crenshaw. Oh, I heard about that brand before. Yes, Maya Niche or Nihe. How do you say her name? Niche. Amina did a review on her fragrances when I first found Amina's channel, and uh, but it's stuck in. Okay. Ooh. Ovation, the site. They mean business. Yes, I'm loving their site. See, this is what I'm talking about. Yes, this is what I'm talking about, right? So I don't think Zach has the people behind him, whether it's family or friends, to get him into this level that he needs to be because his fragrances are that good. I have been buying perfume for a long time. NG. Okay. Maya NG. You know, so I don't think he has the money to do all of this. I really don't. But a long eye. Maya NG. NG. 
Yep, I'm gonna look into those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They look expensive. All right, Cassandra, I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. We're going to be getting off in just a few minutes, guys. I just want to uh, have all of these. Okay, I will. I will, Kia. Greatly contributed to the in popularizing the house of Siage Amount. You know what, uh, Rhonda? Yes. And I go back and forth because, you know, I'm brand new, you know, I'm brand new to this, but I do wish that they recognize that because Kimberly, New York, never heard of her. I I do wish that they would recognize that we have a contribution. And so the black dollars or the, the I won't say the black dollars. I would just say the dollars of the smaller influencers because we're buying this stuff. It matters and it's what's increasing their bottom line. So I think that they recognize that, but yeah, I don't, I don't, you know, like I said, maybe I'm not their aesthetic. You know, I, I'm not Sheree. I don't speak like Sheree. I certainly don't look like Sheree and I'm about 10, 15 years older than Sheree. Right. So I am me. Right. So. And it's not just Sheree. So let's just take Sheree out of the equation. There was another YouTuber who was a lot smaller. And, um, you know, they they buy like a lot of Chanel and all that kind of stuff. And so perhaps, perhaps they're looking at, I don't know what it is. I really don't. Because I think that this, the, the money that somebody who is saving their money every day to buy a bottle of perfume or to buy something expensive it's the same money that somebody who can just spend. It's the same money. It spends the same way. So a business should not be looking at that. And that's the issue we had when they weren't making makeup that looked like me and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Hi, Kimberly. <laughs> you know. So, yeah, I hope so. I hope that I get some recognition and stuff like that. But I do this for the love of... um. I really do this for the love of... So, Kia and Jay, I am having a hard time with my internet right now. If you don't mind, please, and on Instagram, send me a message with those lists of those individuals or those companies that you guys are recommended that I try. And, Kia, I'm definitely going to go on your channel tonight and look at that video or those videos. But, mm, goodness gracious. I smell so good because this is, how many mils is this? This is 70 mils, right? For almost 300 bucks, $225. But I got a discount, 50% discount because Neiman's had their discount and stuff like that. This was $165.99, right? And, mmm. Right, this is one sixty-five ninety-nine. Same glass, but uh, when you look at this right here, this right here, the indentation, right? Th this is what I was looking for with Zach's bottle. Can you imagine if this black bottle had this gold writing on it? Fire. The cap. Has the plastic on the inside with MFK's logo on the inside. And then it's got a sealant stopper. That's what they call them. I think that's what they call them. A sealant stopper to ensure that it does not leak. Right? So you can see the difference. And this one does not. So it's just kind of, you know, yes. So when I think of things, I think of design, right? So I mentioned before in one of my videos that I did my daughter's costumes for her dance. Um, her dancing. And um, I hand, I, I bought the leotard and then I did the design all over it. Can you imagine something like this? Okay. Because all you need, all of them bottles get dirty. Your fingerprints get dirty. So I ain't worried about that. I even like this bottle right here. If they can get a clear version of the stopper, the sealant or whatever on the inside. The juice, girl, the juice on this is the bomb. The juice on this fragrance is the bomb. Okay, and 
gold writing and the writing doesn't have to be like crazy or whatever, but Maison de Darius, MDD, you know, and something that he likes, maybe fire or flame or something, but it's going this direction, right? So it's not just written like that. So it's going, his logo goes like this. And then a flame or something, just something simple, which would be his logo that he needs to do an LLC on. He better do that. Hurry up and do that before somebody jacks it from him. If I start talking about it, I might take that logo for my own self. But you know, <laughs> yes, Nadia, you're right. The bottle like this, it's too boring. It has to have bam on it, right? And just engraving, which costs money. But if you're doing it in big bulk, you know, but then again, you have to have the orders. Like you have to have people ordering your stuff in order for you to go. So if let's just say, like I'm looking at the site that says um that all the stuff is down, right? They don't have any sold out, and you get people to order. Yes, yes. So I'm telling you, mm-hmm. Because when I look at MFK's bottle, to be quite honest with you, it's beautiful. Right? It looks like an, a bottle, a small, a miniature bottle of alcohol. And I think that's where that new line that he has come out. You know, this right here. His new bottle, Nadia, Zach's new bottles are clear with a pretty silver top. And it's a lot nicer. He, he premiered it on Instagram. So his bottle are no longer like these. His bottles look similar to this right here. A little more... Um, earthier okay what I, what I'm hoping that it doesn't feel like wood where you you know a splinter in your wood you know what I'm saying so okay so this was my last purchase oh my gosh this is some good stuff this is some good stuff but I want to get me a bottle of that Armani Privé the um I'm putting it back in its box I really want to get me a bottle of that Armani Privé um, Eccentris. How do you say it? Eccentris. There it is. Amber Eccentris. This is the one that I think is going to be my next, like, um, I don't have any Armani Privé anyways. It smells so good. Yes, Fifi, you're right. It, a dark bottle with gold writing would stand out. So if you guys are just joining me tonight, I announced, um, let me just kind of go over. I'm going to wrap this up a little bit. Tonight, I announced the winner of the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And what the surprise was is that I actually had more than one winner. I had a total of, you know, I had a total of three people that I had selected. Okay? So the first winner was... Let me go to my page. The first winner was Leslie Brooks. She got all the questions correctly. She answered them all correctly. And then the second, the sec and she answered it the way I wanted to be answered. And the second person, um, she was very close with the number in terms of what I think she meant by the number, but I just threw the number out away. And the second uh, person answered all the questions without the number correctly. And the third person did almost the same they were just not as detailed as the second winner. So the first winner won a bottle of Mongrelon Floral, okay? The first person also won a sample of the Wonder Woman fra fragrance from the House of Siage, right? And they also won another uh, House of Siage. It's a gentleman's um, collection, another sample. I don't know where I threw it, okay? And then they also won a MAC lipstick, okay, a powder lipstick, and it is called Mullet Over, as well as a minted lipstick, okay, and this is the brown color. And then they won first prize, or first, the, the person that won the, in the giveaway, this is by Robert Graham, and... <laughs> Yes, this is by Robert Graham, and this is a beautiful fragrance. His line is really nice. It's very um, gourmandy, smoky, cigarette-y type of thing, and it, it smells really good, okay? And, and, yes, and, and. The, the doozy of it was this brand new limited edition 
Pat McGrath Star Wars collection palette. Okay. That was first prize. And the big deal with the first prize is that they get, and it will be mailed straight to them from the House of Siage, the Discovery Signature Set. Yes, that's the first prize. And that was won by Leslie Brooks. Okay. Second place won a bottle of the Montgrelon Floral. The Desi and Katie Frankation palette, which is one of my favorite palettes. And this is by Dose of Colors. This is no longer available. Okay. This is no longer available. And this is what it looks like. Okay. It's beautiful. I use this. I love this. I use this as a travel palette a lot. Okay. And they win a decant of... A sample of one of my House of Siage fragrances and they DM me and tell me what they want. And the person that won that was Dawn from Bougie Fragrances. She's one of our uh, influences here. Right? So, and I may throw in, I'm going to look to see because I think Dawn, Dawn could do with some lipstick. She likes lipstick too, I think. So I'm going to go get me a nice lipstick for her probably and throw that in there. I don't know yet. The third place winner who almost got all the questions right but the number was way far off <laughs> that person also wins a Guerlain fragrance okay and they also will receive that cc yes and they also will receive a sample of one of my house of siage fragrances yes that's coming to them okay and i might throw in a lipstick you know, for that person too, okay? Because I like lipstick and they everybody, we can't wear lipstick because of the mask. So it's good to have lipstick you play with it at home, okay? And um, probably throw in some samples for them too of stuff they probably don't have. But I'll talk to them in the DM about that. Now, the cool thing is that if the first person who is Leslie, if Leslie does not respond to me by Wednesday, if she doesn't reach out to me by Wednesday, Leslie's first place is going to Bougie Fragrance, right yes leslie's first place goes to bougie fragrance bougie fragrance uh gifts second place is going to the third place person who is cc right so cc now becomes the second place winner and then i will pick a new third place winner so and i will you know, let them know, hey guys, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is what happened. The person who won the giveaway didn't, you know, reach out to me. So we just moved everything to the right. So if you guys know Leslie, please reach out to Leslie Brooks. Um, if you know her, I'll reach out. I'm trying to reach out to her. But if she doesn't answer, you know, have until Wednesday. That's three days. So today's Saturday. So we're going to say Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And if I don't hear from her by Wednesday morning, I'm going to go through my comments again and select someone. Yes, I don't know her personally. She came to my channel through Michelle Wong. So what my plan of doing is going and clicking on her, you know, trying to find her. And if I can't find her, you know, because I announced this. And you know what? All of this stuff that's going on with me, you know, I am very, very careful because people, you don't know if people are sick. You don't know if they're, you know, they got stuff going on in their family that they have no internet connection. You know, you don't know what's going on in people's lives. You know, they ain't always, the people don't always have time to come on the internet and talk with us, you know? So I'm going to try and reach out to her too. And if I can't reach out or I leave messages and stuff and let her know she won and she, um, then, you know, we'll just move from there. Yeah. So if any of you know her, please reach out to her. Leslie Brooks is her name. Dawn and Cece were on tonight, so they know what they got to do. I'm so excited. This fragrance is the bomb. In my opinion, it's the bomb.com, okay? I love this fragrance a lot. Yes, as well as I love this one too, okay? So, and I don't, I don't think she has this. I don't think she has this. But if she does, she can share it with somebody else if she already has it. And this right here is a good man scent. So it's a good tester to Robert Graham. Robert Graham, it's kind of hard to find him anymore. You can see him at uh, probably Bloomingdale's and Macy's. But he used to be in Neiman Marcus and stuff like that. And his fragrances are the bomb, okay? Let me show y'all one of his bottles. Hold on one second. 
Yes, Mark Rowland is classy. Hold on one more second. I'm going to show you what um, a Robert Graham perfume looks like. So the one that I favor is Fortitude, right? The sweeter ones, right? This is one of those, right? But the actual bottle, the smaller bottle, and this is what it looks like. And this is Courage, and it's got genuine leather on the cap, and look at the head. Look at that. That's a pilot. Oh, it looks like a pilot anyways to me, like old school pilot. And this one is a, like a more clean, fresh, aquatic scent to it. This one is a little more spicy. So this is Robert Graham brand, and I love the fragrances. And this one is easy to wear. It's soft, so it's not something that's going to be pierced, too piercing where somebody's like, ooh, you stink. You know, it's not going to be like that. So. Yep. Yes, so this one here is more masculine. This one here is more unisex because it's sweeter. So the, let's see, the Fortitude, hold on. Let's see. I'm trying to find the notes for it. Uh, Fragrantica. Fortitude and, um, let's see, Fragrantica. Okay, so Fortitude is tobacco, sweet, patchouli, vanilla, warm, spicy, amber, woody, balsamic, and earthy. And... It is beautiful. I have worn it to sleep. I have worn it out. I have worn, I've worn it, right? So I enjoy it. I actually have a set of these right here and they're not as expensive as they used to be. You know, these bottles used to sell for over $200, this, this size. And um, I got, check it, just make sure my husband isn't around. So for, for, we, our anniversary is in December, so I got him a big bottle, and it has like the horn and everything. Let me show you a picture of the one. Let's see if you can see. Oh. That's what it looks like. The really big bottle, and he ain't never going to go through that, but I was like, I like the bottle, and it looks very manly and stuff like that, and it smells really good, and besides, I'm Aries, and it looks like that, but it's actually just, it's like a Viking goat head or something on top of there, and my husband has got that type of um, background in his family, like Viking, Nordic, that kind of stuff. Mmm, smells, oh my God, I smell good. <laughs> the other fragrance that I like is um, by this brand, by, um, where's my tag? This brand, Ferrari. When I, when I go to the mall, yes, I'm Aries, yeah. When I go to the mall in Miami, the Aventura Mall and stuff like that, we go to the Ferrari store and I like like Ferrari stuff. Like I've got the pen, I've got, um, of course, this, this was my husband's and now it's mine. And um, I like their clothes. I like their fragrances. Um, I just like the stuff that they have in the store. They always have like a car or something in the store. You know that. They have toys and stuff like that. So I really enjoy going to the Ferrari store. I, just like Audi. Audi has like nice clothing and stuff like that. The, the mugs, the coffee mugs and everything, which is all great. But Ferrari, child. That color, that bright red or that bright white with the popper red in it. Ferrari ain't playing with that red. That Ferrari red is the beast. Yes, I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I am. I am Spitfire. I'm very compassionate. I know that. And that's like to my detriment, you know, a lot of times it doesn't always work out in my favor, you know. Um, and my feelings get hurt easily because I envision the best of people. And I don't want people to think negatively of me, you know. Um... Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, Divya. Talk to you later.
Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, yeah, so I really appreciate, I really, truly, truly, truly appreciate the love that I get shown on here, you know. So, yeah, because I'm honest, I guess. I, for, for, the, for the most part, I try to be as honest as I can. And if I make a mistake, I'm very upfront and open and I will say that I made a mistake, you know. Um, but if I don't think I'm wrong, you know, I'm a fight. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, Divi, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I really, and my family is like that, not uh, especially the women. So my aunt was on here earlier on the live. My aunt signed in from Trinidad and she's my youngest aunt. But my aunts and I are like sisters, believe it or not, right? So she's my youngest and she's 11 years older than me. Yeah, 11 years older than me, and she's Pisces. So when we were younger, <laughs> button heads and stuff like that. But my um, my other aunts, my mom's sisters, we're very, very close, very close. And closer than I am with my uncles. And so it was 11 of them. One passed away last October. So October is a very hard month for us for many reasons. I've had uh, aunt, uncle, my son. You know, it's just kind of like a rough month. Um, you know, so, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not like that. Mm -mm. No, I try not to be, you know, I always think that if I always think if it were me, if it were me, yes. Mm -hmm. If it were me, how would I feel? So sometimes I imagine, come here and say hi, baby. Cause I know that's what you want to do. And, and um, how long, how much longer are you going to Not very much longer. Say hello to everyone. Look right here. That's hi. the camera. <laughs> I'm almost finished, okay? Okay. Can, can I sit down right there? Yeah, sure. Are you going to be good and yes. be quiet? Yes. Or are you going to take over? Everybody's saying hi to you. <laughs> Say hi, Nathan. Say hi. hi. They hi. said trick or treat. Hi, trick or treat. <laughs> I got 10 pieces of candy. Yep. We didn't get a lot of candy because we don't do too many candies, right? Uh -huh. And okay. I ate all of it. You sure did. You're a good boy. Uh-huh. Yummy said hi. Say hi, Kia. Hi, Miss. Hi. No, say hi, Miss Kia. Hi, Miss Kia. See, she says hi. Hold on. There you go. See there, she said hi. Hi. And that's Miss Rhonda. And that's Miss Fifi. And that's Miss Cece. Hi, Miss Rhonda. Hi, Miss Cece. Hi, Miss Fifi. Hi, Miss Fifi. Good job, Nate Nate. There's Miss Kimberly. Say hi, Miss Kimberly. Hi, Miss Kimberly. I'm Nathan. <laughs> say hi, Miss Allie. Hi, Miss Allie. <laughs> Is that the dog? No, and that's Jay. Say hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. <laughs> okay, have a seat over there for Mama. Okay. Okay. So, yes, it is. Uh, the Ferrari is low to the ground. Um, Janice, Miss Janice said hi. Say hi, Miss Janice. Hi, Miss Janice. <laughs> Yep, so they actually, Jay, the Ferrari is low to the ground. Um, you know, I used to, we, when, we were, when we lived in Colleen, we used to drive down to Austin and um, go test drive the, the next car. I think that I might get, I might get, my, my goal is to get um, the Grand Tour. I think that's how you say it. Um, and I really like that one, but then I started thinking about I started thinking about, oh, Leslie is here? Hi, Leslie. Hey, Leslie. Hi. Hey. Hi. Guess what, Leslie? It's Halloween. It's, yes, it is Halloween. Say hi to Leslie. Say hi, Miss Leslie. Hi, Miss Leslie. It's November and it's also Halloween. Yes. Miss Leslie, you, my dear, are the winner of the 1,000 oh. subscriber oh. giveaway. Right no, That's this is not. We ain't about the weapons right now. This is about Miss Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> I love Miss Leslie. <laughs> okay, go ahead and hang out with Daddy until I'm done. Okay, I'm going to get my little chair thingy that's here. Yes, yes, Leslie, my dear, congratulations. <laughs> so, my dear. 
Is she still here? I see her. that was earlier, 9.49. Congrats, Leslie. Hi, Lisa. Congrats, Leslie. So what I need for you to do, Leslie, you won. I'm going to go over what you won. You won a bottle of Mongrelon Floral. You won that. And you want two lipsticks. You want a minted, and this is a brown color. Pull it up. This is a brown color, minted lipstick. And minted is a, uh, I think it's a black owned brand. I'm not sure. But a lot of people talk about minted lipsticks and they really like it. So it's a nice brown, a good color for the fall. And you can actually use the brown and then put a little bit of red on the center and create a nice ombre look. And you also want, this is a MAC powder lipstick in Mullet Over. This is also a very nice lipstick. It goes on very nice and smooth on the lips. And you want a Wonder Woman 84 sample. And you also want a men's sample, but I can't seem to find it right now, right? And my dear, you also won a limited edition Pat McGrath Star Wars palette. This came out, it's a limited edition. I don't think they sell these, I know they don't sell these anymore. And this is brand new. And the reason you can tell it's brand new is right here is the little, uh, the plastic sticker, okay? Wrap this back up in here because I keep it wrapped up because you know Pat McGrath stuff, right? And you, my dear, won a Discovery Kit from the House of Siage Signature Line. All 10. You get to smell all 10 of them and determine which one you like. <laughs> yes. My dear, you are the winner of the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Yes, yes. And if you have, if I have anything, Leslie, if I have anything in my collection that you want to smell, let me know and I'll make you a sample and I'll send it to you as well, okay? She might be on a delete. Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. Let me put these away. So tonight, yes, Leslie, congratulations. There it is. It was this right here, the Contemporary. And this is a new fragrance from the House of Siage. Oh, how can I forget? And you also won a Robert Graham, I believe this is 10 milliliter, this is the Travel Spray, and this brand is hard to come by because I believe Robert Graham is no longer all over in Neiman Marcus and stuff like that anymore, but this is a very sweet, it's tobacco, patchouli, vanilla, warm, spicy, amber, balsamic, and earthy. It's a very good unisex scent, and hopefully, you know, if you don't like it, somebody else in your family, I guess, hopefully it'll be something that somebody else would want, Okay. And that's what you get. That's what you win. Yes, Lamborghini is super low, my poor knees. <laughs> yes, Jay, I know, I know. Dr. Rose, Dr. Rose, I, w I want to, um, do you have the Amber Eccentris by, uh, by um, Armani? Oh, okay. I was saying how nice this is. And the Roja Dove, uh, what is it? The Roja Dove Scandal smells good too. And the one that leaked was the Roja Dove Essent Elysium. Mm, yep. So, okay, guys. I am stoked. I am waiting for Leslie to respond. I'm scrolling down my list here. I don't see. She said, hi, happy Halloween to Nathan. 
Okay, Leslie. Just hit me up and DM, uh, DM me on Instagram and we'll chat and I can get your uh, email and, and your address and stuff like that so I can place the order for you. I am so stoked about that, you know. Um, and if you already have that, just in case, just in case, if you already have that and you want something else, you know, let me know. But that's, um, I know that most people haven't smelled all the fragrances from the House of Siage. I think I just want to buy one more. And that is the um, the one that came out last night. Cassandra said, not came out last night, Noue Moi. And I think Noue Moi means new me. I'm not very good at French at all. I'm not good at Spanish either, but I try. So it's N-O-U-E-Z-M-O-I, Moi. So Noue Moi, that's the one I'm going to get. And that one is kind of a spicy, nutmeggy fragrance. It doesn't have any, I don't think it has fruits or flowers in it. I think it's just most, well, fruits. So... I think that's the that's my next uh, purchase. Yep, from the House of Siage, and then that Mickey Mouse one I want, but I don't know if it's a new fragrance, guys, because to me it looks just like the um, it looks the bottle looks like this one, and this one is Chivador. And it has, when, when it just has a black cap on top of it with the airs. So the bottle looks like this at the bottom. So I was a little nervous about that. And I'm like, if it smells too close to it, it doesn't make any sense of me having it just to have a cap that's different. That's why I haven't bun, bought any of the, um, the limited edition ones because the juice already had the fragrances. So I would be buying it just for the cup. So they, the cover, so they could just send me the cover. I'll be fine with the cover. I don't need, I don't need, I don't need the juice. <laughs> Excuse me. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button, please. All right. I don't see uh, Leslie responding. Leslie. Oh, gosh. Maybe she is on a lag or maybe she got dropped off like I did earlier when I was trying to. Uh... All right. Thanks, Jay. Okay. Thanks, Yummy. All right, guys. You have 28 likes and one dislike. Who disliked me? <laughs> I noticed that like in the last, um, last couple of videos, I've been getting one dislike. Who disliked me? Oh no. <laughs> That's okay because when they dislike you, that means that you're doing something right. Or as long as they say what I need to fix, who didn't win? <laughs> yes, yummy. Somebody that didn't win, they're mad at me. You know? That's right. They're still considered a view. That's okay. I just wish they'd subscribe. Mmm. These fragrances are just the bomb. All right, guys. Yes, it's engagement. So how on them? <laughs> oh, my gosh. They will sleep with the fish. That's what movie is that I saw that? They sleep with the fishes. Oh, gosh. I tell you, some people just, you can't please everybody, right? You can't please everybody. You try, but you just can't. You just can't. All right, guys. So I'm going to let you all go. I am so stoked. Um, if you don't mind, I really need some feedback on what you all want to see. We talked about handbags. I have, a, um, I have some limited edition. I don't have an extensive, extensive handbag collection. But I do have, I collect, I used to collect. I haven't bought a bag in about a year and a half or two years. I used to collect limited edition Louis Vuitton um, bags. And if you are interested in seeing my collection, please let me know so I can set that up. And maybe it'll be my very first filming with my camera. I just bought a camera, the Canon M50. And I'm looking to get the M Mark II, M, whatever it's called. Because it's on... Good night, Nan. 
Yep. So my thought process is to um to do a good. I lost. I have no lights in my in my closet. I'm doing. I tell y'all, this. I don't know what's going on in this place. You know. So tomorrow during the day, I'll pull that down, and that's probably be not my very next video, but my following uh, video. So I, I will pull that down. So if you guys are interested in that, I have limited edition um, Louis Vuitton. Well, I don't have the limited edition, but Louis Vuitton scarves, um, handbags, Gucci. I gave away my Chloe's, which now I'm regretting that I did that because now people can't even find Chloe. Uh, Chloe. Yes, yes. I unboxed my very first um, video was unboxing a Louis Vuitton purchase a bag that I purchased on the Champs, the Louis Vuitton flagship store on Champs de Lisie when I went on Christian's Make a Wish Foundation trip in 2015. Yeah, so, and I have wallets that I haven't worn ever. So I have small leather goods. Um, Christian Louboutin, I used to collect his stuff and I gave away some or sold some. I have shoes that I've never worn. <laughs> I can't say too loud because, you know, Joseph going to be mad at me because he bought them. I sold some and then I didn't sell others. So I have um, those type, that type of content as well. So I do have, if you're interested in that, because I know a lot of folks, when I do the makeup, I get some views on the makeup, but I'm an eight and a half. I wear anywhere shoes. Nope, no seven, seven and a half. My feet ain't that small, child. <laughs> Lisa, thank you. You're so sweet. <laughs> yep, I wear eight, eight, eight and a half, depending on the shoe. If it's a wider front, a wider toe box, I could wear an eight. But for the most part, I wear eight and a half nines. I prefer to buy nines so that I have room to grow if my feet swell or whatever. And then um, I have, uh, let's see, bags, handbags. I used to have a lot of jewelry. I got rid of most of it. Um... Uh, scarves. I do love scarves. Um, I don't have like Gucci belts and like I was talking to um, Aisha from AI the Great, her channel. I was talking to her about what Gucci belt to buy, but I was scared to buy Louis Vuitton belts or any belt with a logo on it. The only belt I think I would buy with a logo right now is an Hermes belt because I'm scared that that type of stuff may go out of style. Like Louis Vuitton belt. Nobody wears those anymore. I hardly ever see anybody with a Louis Vuitton belt. So I'm thinking that's what's going to happen to Gucci belts. But the Gucci belts right now, they're happening right now. And it's kind of like YouTube, right? You got to do what's happening right now, right? So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. I'm also thinking about doing a fragrance. I know I have to do an updated fragrance collection video because Dr. Rose got me in all these Manceras. So yeah, girl. Yes, your girl got to do. Yes, I have to do an updated fragrance uh, video. I also have quite a bit of makeup, but I haven't bought a lot of Pat McGrath's makeup in the last... I can't read without glasses. Why did I take them out? Yeah, Gucci belts aren't really... I mean, I like them, but I'm just kind of like... I'm not even that... I'm not... I love fashion, but... Good night, Allie. Thank you so much for sticking in. Yes, Nan, I did sub to your channel a few days ago because you can cook. Guys, go to, if you like food, go to Nan's channel, okay? Please go to her channel. She had some grillon. Was it grillon? No, it was stew chicken. She had some, oh my gosh. I got hungry just watching her cook, cook the stew chicken. Yes, okay? So I have weight to, I have to maintain. Y'all know, army standards. Yes, Neo, Nan's channel, Nan's chicken, chicken kitchen. <laughs> I found her the other night, just like I found that artist that I posted on Instagram that was doing that artwork. Oh my God. I love, I love artists. I love seeing how they create and that's with food, perfume, whatever. I don't care. You know, clothes. That's why I watch all of those shows. But, um, so I'll put together some collection. I'll do a poll and see what you guys want to see next. I like doing the makeup tutorials. Um, me too, Nadia. Me too. But I think that um, I think that the way I do makeup and the way I do my makeup, it's for the everyday person, right? Yes, non girl, you can cook. Oh yes, oh yes, we want people to. And she's a new channel, mind you. So please support. 
Purses, yes. Okay, so the next one I'm going to work on, I have a couple already in the pipeline, so I'm going to work on doing, uh, I'll probably do a live to show my collection. So I'll pull my collection out of the closet. I don't even have lights in the closet right now. I'm telling y'all, it's real janky going on, right? I'll pull it out and then we will do, um, yes. So I have, I don't know the name of it, but it's a limited edition. I have a limited edition Gucci snakeskin bag that um, I sent to get uh, moisturized by this lady. I forgot the name of the company, but I sent it to get moisturized like in 2013 or 14. And so I haven't worn that since. And then I have, um, I had Chloe bags. I think, I don't think I have them anymore. I gave my, I gave my mom one. And I think I gave my, my, my aunt or I gave somebody one. I had two and I gave one away. I might have sold the other one. I have the Dior saddle bag. I have the Fendi bag that Cameron Diaz was photographed in. And once she photographed it, I went on a hunt for it and I bought it. And mine is made out of the leather looks like hair, right? But it's actually leather. And um, I have that. I have... Uh, several Louis Vuitton limited edition pieces. I have the Perfo Speedy. I have the one that I um that did uh, the first video with. And then I have, you know, I have a couple of other Louis Vuitton pieces. I have Louis Vuitton scarves, um, bandos, and I have small leather goods, Christian leather, Christian, uh, Christian Louboutin. Um, wallets and stuff like that. Now, one thing I would say is that I spent a lot of money on Fendi small leather goods, as well as Louis Vuitton keychains. And if you are putting keys and stuff, or you're using your goods, the problem is that they're going to get marked. They're going to get the, the, the black thing that gets on from the, the, how do you say, you know, the, the if, if it, there's metal in the bag or your keys or whatever, it's going to get marked up. So it's going to look a little kind of sort of way, right? And that Fendi, I bought it when I went to Las Vegas for, um, Alyssa went to dance competition, nationals. Yes. A collection collab. Okay. Yeah. Neo. Yes. Yes. That would be awesome. So yeah, the key ring. Yep. Yeah, it, it messes up and stuff like that. That Fendi thing I spent, I spent, I was in Vegas and I spent like four or $500 on that, I think. And the leather is beautiful and soft, but my keys mess it up. And I mean, when you spend money on stuff, you don't want to get messed up, but it is what it is. So, you know, and then I started collecting tag here watches uh, because I wanted a Chanel watch and I couldn't afford the Chanel watch. So I went and I bought the tag here watch instead. And I just, I stopped collecting them. I, it was just wasting money. It really was. Hey, Lady B. Oh, I'm so glad you joined. Make sure you hit the like button. <laughs> I'm so glad you joined. So our winner, lady, our winner was Leslie. Um, she showed up, but I haven't seen her acknowledge that she she heard that I said she won. And second place, the surprise was I had a second and a third place. And the second place went to Bougie Fragrance. And the third place went to Cece. So those guys got some, um, some palettes and some fragrances. And, and they're going to get samples from my collection. You know, they just... DM me and tell me what they want and I'm going to uh, make samples and stuff like that. So, yep. Or, you know, if I'm not good at making samples, I'll buy them. Because <laughs> I suck at that stuff. I waste more than anything else. Nikea, thank you very much, my love. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, because I've, I've wasted, like I've tried, you know how you get the, like, the Sephora bottles or whatever and you're spraying in the stuff and all the perfume was going on my hand instead of going in the bottle. So I was really pissed at myself. So I um, I was talking to somebody else and they said it could be the bottle that I bought. So these, I'm going to try and see if I can find these wide bottles like this. Um, but then you can't spray it. And I want folks to be able to spray it or dab it or whatever, you know. So yeah, I want to, have, uh, you know, you want to give somebody something good. You don't want to give them stuff that's janky. You know, that's nappy licious says that word guy, janky. So I like these sayings. I like this phrase. I like gorgeous by Cassandra, and she says epic, you know, I've always said epic, but she says it, so I'm gonna let her have that, and then um, also um, uh, Nappylicious, she said janky, and I like that, she does a lot of AK stuff and stuff like that, so it's kind of cool, yep, so yeah, so that's what, um, that's what I kind of, I'm trying to figure out what, what to do on the channel to ensure that folks really, you know, um, 
that I'm reaching people, I'm giving people what they want as opposed to giving them what I think that I, they should want. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, that's kind of how I'm thinking about the channel. Providing feedback, like the makeup. Somebody asked me to do more neutral tone makeups. And when you put, apply makeup with your finger, like tonight, tonight's makeup was very easy. I literally slap on some, um, I just put on some foundation, right? And I literally, literally put a, the, a magnetic liner on, slap the magnetic lash on, which is easier to do than the glue, right? And then after I did all that, I just took my pinky finger and I dipped it in um, an eyeshadow that's in a pot. Yeah, an eyeshadow that's in a pot. Um, and I, and I put it, let me see. So, I mean, from far, you can't really tell, you know, but it looks good when I'm looking at myself at these, it looks kind of good. Right. And that's an easy look. So when I do those videos that shows that you just could use your fingers and then take your brushes to blend your, your, your makeup in, it makes it easy because not everybody has two, three hours to sit down and do some makeup on their face before they walk out the door. So you need to create looks that's easy for folks to um, do. And most of us that have hooded eyes when we're older, it's it's really hooded. It's not, you know, fake hood. Which reminds me, this lash is about to get on my last nerve. Yeah. So that's what they're asking for. So thank you, Nadia. So they asked, they asked for more neutral makeup. And so I did that. And then when I put a pop of color, you could take a neutral look that you've had all day long, if you at work all day and you have an event you have to go to, you ain't got time to wash your entire face off. You take some contour and you slap that bad boy on your cheeks and then you take colored eyeshadow and pop it on your lids and elevates your look and you slap some lashes on. And that's it. That's all they wrote. All she wrote. That's all you got to do. All right. All right, guys. Well, yes, we're coming to a close. Okay, thank you, Nadia. I really appreciate it. Let's see who we have in here. Lady B, I am so glad you joined, my dear. Yes. Y'all, if you guys, if you didn't hear me, Nan's Global Kitchen, she is, she can cook. She was cooking some stew chicken, made me want to jump through the screen and eat it. Okay, so please subscribe to her channel. Check out her channel. Yep. Thank you, Nadia. Yep. I like neutral makeup too. I love color. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Kimberly. Beautiful Nadi. Okay. I got you. Hit me up in a DM, Nadia, please. Hit me up on Instagram and just, um, like just message me on Instagram to make sure that I'm following you. Yes. I, 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 I thought I was following you, but maybe I'm following another Natty because there was somebody else on there. Because <laughs> I thought I, I thought I followed you back. Oh my gosh! So if I'm not, hit me up, send me a message on Instagram. Yeah, guys, if you are following me here on YouTube or you subscribe to me on YouTube, please, please, please make sure on Instagram you hit me up in the uh, messenger part and let me know that you know. Um, you know, we follow so we can follow each other because uh, a lot of people like, oh, let's give me follow for follow and stuff like that. And everything that I've watched on YouTube said you really shouldn't do anything like that because when they say follow me for follow or they tell you that they can help you get to the hours you need or whatever the case is, the 4,000 hours, it's scary. So um, because YouTube could take away, they could go on there and they could take away your hours and they could take away your, your followers and stuff. Thanks, Natty. I see you. Thank you very much. I see you. I got you. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, when I get messages like that or people like they try to say, oh, well, we want to collab with you. And then they talking about me buying stuff from them. Uh, no. I got you, Nadia. I saw it. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Rhonda. See you soon. Yeah. So it's kind of crazy, right, that they do that. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. Let's see. Yep. Okay. All right, guys. So let's shut it down for tonight. I really appreciate you all, 
all of you. I really, really appreciate that you joined. I really, I'm so grateful and thankful and that's what I want to give back. And I'm going to be working on those ideas that y'all put forth in terms of the videos, the handbags and the collection and stuff like that. And I promise you that, you know, I'm going to try and keep on giving you content. I'm going to remain who I am, of course, but I'm going to try and ensure that you guys are getting content that you're interested in, okay? So I will keep up the makeup videos. I will keep up. I will be doing more lives. I'm trying to do more lives because I am trying to get my hours up there. And um, I'll try my best to do that. So I'll notify you all that I'm doing a live. And if it doesn't work on my computer, which has what happened last tonight, I will come on on my, um, on my iPad because uh, I don't know how to use StreamYard yet, but I'll figure it out, okay? So with that, you know, guys, thanks again for joining me. For the winners, please make sure you reach out to me on Instagram. Please, please, please. And y'all have a beautiful night. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. Bye.